kind of sunset outside. Maybe it's a little past that little point. Past that, I think now. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I think the time is right. It is apt. It is fitting for us to be playing on this map at this point in time, ladies and gentlemen. We're seeing the picks starting to come out, and everything is looking fairly standard, fairly comfortable. Tam said tonight, everybody's on their comfort rolls. So hopefully, we should be seeing our team playing at their best capacity. Hopefully, that's the hope as <laughs> we get into this. Saints are going to be starting on attack. Gub hovering that Omen Sushi on that Neon Barbosa on the Cypher. Wombat on the Fade and Jello on that Breach. As for Northeastern, we have is that Darm? Darm on Omen. Arka on Sova. JCN on Cypher. <laughs> We got Natex. Natex, it yeah. <laughs> looks like. Wow, picture in picture. Look at that. <laughs> hey, sometimes some technical issues happen, Wait, but at least you guys get I to look at us myself? in the meantime. Oh, beautiful. There we I go. wonder what I could do. I'm pointing at myself right now. Wait, whoa. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Look how what? big they are. There we go. But as we're <laughs> kind of slowly taking our time to get into the game, and uh, we're going to take some time to figure it out in the game. Uh, in the Hopefully. back, some technical difficulties. <laughs> uh, some happens. some of the machines are not responding. So unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we've been having some issues with we our machine <laughs> in we have time. Been. And you're looking at what those tech issues look like. Just with everything. Are real Everything's here now. Yeah, that one gigabyte port is <laughs> fighting for its life. Uh, but. We're fighting for our lives right now, too. In-game, we're hearing it a little I'm bit. I'm hearing something. We're hearing something, yeah. But I, what I want to hear are the screams of the damned, okay? I want to hear the I think, screams. I think they're right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those, those are the damned right there. Down there. <laughs> not, not Brandon, not Brandon, but uh, the little the little guy right here. Yeah, the little one's right above little Brandon. Little box. It's like looking at an alternate universe. I don't wonder, is it like in sync? Oh, it, is, it is in sync. It'd been awesome if it was delayed a little bit. It would be good, because then we could set some stuff up. But yeah. anyways, we do have something in store for you guys. Maybe this is the surprise I was talking about. Maybe. The machine broke. Surprise, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it happens. But you know what else happens? Gameplay. Mm. And something like this could happen while you're playing the game. Anything. Everything could blow up. This is kind of what it's like when you're playing against a team full of initiators. That was kind of cool. And <laughs> hey, unless you're using an Alienware PC, then things like that exactly. could never happen. If only. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in the first round. Thank God. And we have the pistols underway. Gub leading charge with this team. In fact, Sushi dashing in on his legendary Neon, shooting out the dart, dashing away into safety. They have full control over mid, but that could be contested as we have a Sova coming up from behind. Not going to get there in time to find anybody in the back. Moving on over to B now. It's slow, but it's sure. Sushi going to bring up the speed, but he's going to get taken down JCN taking out sushi now Barbosa not too far behind third gonna be Jello almost finding the fourth Gub gonna put him down getting revenge for his team Ark Arka taking down Gub last one to go down is Wombat Saints are gonna lose round one but there's still a lot of time left in this game still a lot of time left in the game and they did get the plant down but they just could not secure the site before doing mm -hmm. so and that just goes to show that maybe that's just the classic Saints pistol throw We've seen that many, many times for all the Saints teams across every level. Oh, yeah. Pistol's just tough for Saints. For some reason. For I'm some not reason. Too sure. I don't know why. We're, we're seeing some progression. We're seeing some cleanup, but maybe we're going to walk that back a little bit here. But now, this round is looking to be a complete save for them. Yeah. Uh, so they don't really have a choice. It'd be like you know, telling, saying people are saving back in 2008. It's more like <laughs> they just don't have enough to spend. But it is saving if you are an optimist. You know, they, they're choosing to be responsible with their money. But right now we're seeing Blueberry being ooh, responsible with ooh. their life. Barbosa being responsible with the Sheriff. Uh, Natex behind Barbosa, not going to have enough in the clip to take down Sushi and be able to tap him down. It's a 2v4, actually. Saints find a lot of success. Gub <laughs> taking down Arka. And they are seemingly just full of surprises, this team. A lot of surprises to JCN finding Gub, surprising him. Sushi surprising him back in the head. What just happened? Good question. They lost the pistol round when everything was equal. And then when they have only pistols going up against rifles, they win in a landslide. It's because they could lock in. They, they're they forced to lock in, in there. You know what? All credit to Tyler here. I asked him. I, asked, I like asking the players some fun questions. Uh, and I asked... Sushi, Tyler, what's like your signature? How can someone see your gameplay without seeing your name and know it's you? And he said, I'll be at the top of the leaderboard, baby. And oh, there he is. Look at him. It's, it's only two rounds in. 
but he's at, he's there. He's there. He's there. He's up at the top. I like his brother Jello, oh looking God. down on his brother. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's that's where you get the good skill. Those from the competition. Oh yeah, for sure. And I feel like the best competitive esports players are the people with brothers close in age because you have someone there constantly able to just challenge you at all points. I think uh, being the little brother might be the best scenario. Oh, well. yeah. You have older brother just bullying you, just like <laughs> Sushi's <laughs> looking to bully the enemy team here, running around, reloading his gun. Looks like they're getting bullied right now, actually. Forced back, kind of cornered off into they A. They A-Sight free, though, if they just go there a little bit quicker. It's not free if they don't know it's free. You know, Costco right. samples aren't samples if you don't know they're free. But imagine trying to pay for a Costco sample. That's what they're doing on A-Site right now, spending their util just to take something that there's being offered to them for free, and it's going to actually allow some people to get there ready to charge them. We're seeing JCN taking out Sushi, but Gub not going to get surprised by Burberry taking him down. A-Site really contested now. It's a fight over the sample tray. Barbosa being the first to dine, taking down Arca, open up the site for the team. Now they know it's ready. Now they know it's available. Flashing it just to make it even easier. Jello with the headshot wow. through the wall. He heard what I said. He didn't like it. Showing that he's better than his brother. It's like Cooler and Frieza. You know? <laughs> exactly. They don't get along. Nadex, the last man standing, has to break through. Cannot break through Jello. Maybe Jello, but he's standing firm, not jiggling under the pressure. Uh, yeah, that was a really good match. Two to one right now. Saints coming back really well from that uh, deficit. Pistol rounds, that's probably the hardest thing you could come back from. But I wasn't lying when I said like the, the vibes on this team really are important to their success. Definitely. And of course to their failure in times as well. <laughs> but these guys just get along so well. It's a very chill environment. Um, and I feel like the fact that they lost pistols, they're probably just laughing it off. Like, all right, yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to lose this one. <laughs> and that allowed them to just play better. Um, that's my guess at the very least. But Burberry finding Gub, taking down Coach. Now, a line of players, but Wombat proving the statement true. The aim on the Saints really just up there taking down Burberry, but uh, Dar Darm is going to be able to take him back and respond. Sushi, smoke is dissipating. Oh, actually, it's going to get reapplied. They're waiting to go around the corner. Ooh, the concussion. He's going to find his feet. No headshots, no shots are being uh, let loose just yet, but spoke too soon. Sushi's gonna find one wow. Barbosa right after him. Darm and Atex down. A site is busted wide open, but again, the Saints aren't aware of that yet. Doing everything they can find to get information. Sushi dashing in, Jello avenging his fallen brother, and this is gonna be now enough time for them to find the plant. Won't even be able to need that. They're gonna take down JCN, get the plant for the extra credits. Boom, baby, we're back. Three to one. We are back and better than ever. The Saints, three to one, are looking absolutely impeccable. Barbosa staying at the top, just getting these clean kills every single round, opening up the sights for his team. I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way. Jello also looking very good, trying to keep stay competitive with Sushi. Now Sushi, not at the top like you were saying, a little bit at the bottom. Uh -oh. <laughs> Need to maybe wake that one up, but we still got a lot of game left. Now we're just starting the round here. Bobosa looking up to clear mid, to take that control for the team. The Saints could play a bit uncharacteristically slow. Yeah, they, they're kind of forced on the back foot here. We can see the Saints right now on the red team just playing patiently, uncharacteristic of the color red. Usually that's the color of aggression, but right now they're taking it slow. I like to see that they're always kind of fighting for control of mid. They have at least one in a nice flank spot, but not going to find anything just yet as the team is still in their information gathering phase. Still now... They're going to decide to go for B, creeping around this corner as a Sova, dart in hand. I don't think they're going to be able to shoot out this dart, and in fact, that's probably the best time he went for it. Smoke is up as well, and they're just shooting through it, seeing if they can find any heads. Saints, they are going to be forced to either commit or leave, and it looks like only one of them is going to commit. The rest of them are still chilling in the shop. They're slowly pouring out one by one. Sushi with a nice dash, finding one with a slide. Going to get it done back to him. The ultimate is committed from the enemy Neon, but this is a massacre. Wow. for the Saints. Nothing Northeastern University had up their sleeve was enough to make this work, and that's going to allow the Saints to take that round 4-1 to one now. It's looking really good for them. It's looking absolutely amazing for the Saints. They are on a roll. Uh, they're making me eat my words for saying this could be a 2-0, you know? Uh, I was uh, worried uh, uh. that 
It might be, because Northeastern, just on stats alone, it's looking very, very scary. And the knowledge of the Saints not having enough knowledge <laughs> on their side was absolutely terrifying indeed. But it looks like they don't need it. They can just go and adapt on the fly. Yeah, they're adapting really well now. And in fact, they're also doing a lot of flying too. Sushi with the laser arm running around with the Prowler in front. That's going to be a nice distraction, allowing him to find the kill really easily. And he's going to get the fast lane up too. It's completely walled off. The Saints have full control of B. Barbosa even cementing that with the flank taken down. Arka not going to win that gunfight. Sushi leading the charge still just making sure he can hold this advantage for his team. Gub on the back line, also gonna commit it from Northeastern University. Barbosa finding one, now two through the smoke. This flank is gonna be impenetrable. And now Burberry on the neon, forced back, looking for a save, oh. gonna find his doppelganger at the very least and run for his life. Now, still, it's uh, Snake's gonna be able to definitely take this site. It's gonna be five to one after this one, but at least uh, Burberry is gonna be able to hold on to the operator. Hopefully that's what Burberry's hoping for, to play a little bit further back and just pick them off one by one. With Neon, you can really kite these people here. As we see, they might be able to get through, hide with the shotgun, Ooh. and they take them <laughs> off for themselves. Let's go, Gub! Really showing up and allowing enough time for his teammates to get the kill. Saints would not let that one slip. No advantage can be afforded. But hey, this is one of their maps. This is expected behavior. If they were doing any less, uh, if they're performing any less than this right now, I would be really worried for their chances of the series. It's the best of three. They still have a whole other game they need to win, and they still haven't even won this one. They have to make sure they maintain this, this lead, keep their head on their shoulders, don't let it get too inflated, and just really play serious from here on. Yeah, you have to stay well adjusted. Don't get too big for your britches, as they say. You don't want to get overconfident. Mm -mm. But I think the Saints thrive on teetering on that edge of overconfidence. As long as they keep <laughs> pushing earned. the envelope, they can very much snowball this into their favor. Sushi. Like it's slow. Ooh. Oh, look at that flick! Oh, a double kill from He's Sushi. He's a dog! He's a dog! Did you see that? The patience Beautiful. as well. It was just like, he, he was looking in one different direction. He heard, beep, immediately turn around. Put him down. Both of them, one after the other. Really well done. Jello looking to uh, show that he's got it too. Forced to retreat, however, from that util. Burberry in the fast lane, but Jello taking him down. Not allowing anybody to steal his brother's thunder. Natex with the Sheriff. Could have been a huge pickup, but Wombat not letting that happen. Darn playing backside of B, waiting for a single opportunity to get a headshot. But Sushi not going to let that happen. I saw him go around that corner. I was worried for a split second. I remembered who was walking around that corner for that, though. It's Sushi. He's not going to let anybody catch him off guard. We saw it already. He did it again. Nine kills in this game. He's leading the charge right now for the Saints. Again, to his credit, he kind of called this out. He did call us out. He kept us up and active and vigilant, staying, mm. looking for every single chance to watch him slip up. But he didn't. He stayed up and at him. <laughs> and that's what you got to do when you're up against Northeastern. I mean, you can definitely see the potential there that the Saints let go at any point in this match. Northeastern will run away with it. But the fact that they're able to deprive them any footing here is... <laughs> just a testament to show that they need the momentum to win. Yeah, and the momentum's here for them. They they haven't lost a round since Pistol. Since Pistol, keep that in mind. That's they true. lost Pistol round, and they're still only down one round. Um, you gotta give them one. <laughs> okay, <I'm kidding. laughs> Fair enough, you gotta give them one, and they chose, I guess, the least valuable round to yep. give. But still, the Saints are showing up incredibly here. Maybe it's the stream buff. Maybe they know. They wanna, they wanna prove that they are worth the slot, okay? Get us on prime time. No more relegated to the second stream. They wanna be here. They wanna be mainstays for the broadcast, and I think they're definitely delivering that message in a very pretty envelope because I'm convinced, okay, I'm a believer as we get ready for this next round, two seconds before the gates fall down. What are the Saints hoping to accomplish with this mid-default push? They're hoping to accomplish just area control here. They want to make sure Northeastern gets a little bit antsy and mm. pushes through once again to Sushi. You get the insane flick, and there's a nice. beautiful wall bang from Sushi. 
Sushi, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. In fact, I'm going to stop talking about him so much. I don't want to be a fanboy for Sushi. Barbosa, I would happily be a fanboy for. However, Sushi, once again, taking on Natex. Never mind. He is blacklisted, no longer complimenting his gameplay. As we find Wombat, an incredible star E athlete, coming through with the headshot. Just got to spread the compliments, you know? Spread it. Spread the love. Sushi, not, again, he's blacklisted. You can talk about him. <laughs> yeah, Sushi walking up this lane. Or Blueberry is walking up this lane with Sushi awaiting him at the harbor and gets a beautiful headshot three kills in the round you may not be a fanboy but we know sushi is making lots of fans today with action like that nah he's all right <laughs> nah, he's not that cool so you know who's really cool though barbosa june one of the players i was probably this is the player i'm probably least familiar with on this team really speaking to him for the first time today and uh by the way the team was talking about him i know uh he's definitely earned his keep already just before they were playing a quick match just to get themselves warmed up. And uh, I was asking about the team. They said, oh, yeah, June, he's not here yet. He's not here. I'm like, June? Who's June? He's like, oh, don't worry. June will be here soon. And I was like, okay. They're like, it felt like they were talking After about a May. boss. <laughs> <laughs> True. Got a couple more months. <laughs> Got a couple more months here. Uh, but Barbosa, definitely a star player on this team. One of the starters usually as well. Not a surprise to see him playing tonight. Um, and thankfully, Saints are able to keep him on the game tonight as well. As uh, they're forced to play a little bit. Or not forced. They're choosing to play a little bit slower tonight. They're going to be uh, making their push over to B, it seems, with the Prowlers going their way, but still ultimately just uh, scrapping for the mid play. The mid play is key here. They want to establish that control. Every time they've gotten it, they've done some amazing things. And now, look at that. They're choosing to rotate over to A, default push, A main. And with that fatal, that's going to open it right up, giving them all the information they need. It just barely didn't hit two of them, though. Yeah, so they know it's open, but I don't know if they know it's as open as they think. It's not as open as they think. Sushi with 5 HP? I don't even know when that happened, but still, he's going to be the one clearing the site for his team, lasering everyone. And with the Kamehameha's coming out, nobody's going to get found, thankfully. Jello taking down Burberry. JCN looking to take down Barbosa, but he doesn't know someone's waiting for him in the corner. Sushi taking down one Barbosa right after him. Sushi finally down. Headshot was overkill for him. He was only at 5 HP. Barbosa pre-firing, taking taking down Natex for Arka, at least finding Jala before he goes down. But that's the Saints successfully taking another round and uh, in a really, really confident fashion as well. Very confident indeed. I mean, how much more confidence do you need? At what point does it become overconfidence? Uh. We're seeing if it'll boil over at some point, but right now it's at a steady simmer. They're simmering and they're waiting. For that's, it. that's boiling. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to boil over. Yeah. You, know, you got, got the noodles in the pot. You got a few more minutes like before it starts to boil over. It's more like, it's more like that. Like a nice. It's like that. All right, you don't want foiling. <laughs> ASMR stream tonight, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> as the gate goes down once more. Saints getting a little bit more aggressive than usual. We're seeing two up beyond the scrimmage line. I'll call that tonight as uh, we have Cypher playing up, looking to see if you can find anybody out in the open. There's a smoke at the top of mid. It's keeping him and his position concealed. But as it goes down, the next time he shows himself, anyone who would be there would be known. And they're keeping an eye on the top of mid as well. They're going to be rotating back with the rest of the team. They're gathering information over on B site. And it looks like they're just uh, splitting. They're sending Cypher over to A for the information while the rest are looking to get ready for the B push or rotate back over to A as soon as they get the information that they're looking for. But right now, all the data that they're working with, it's pretty mysterious. It's again, these smokes... All the information they have to work with so far is Barbosa about to have the first confrontation of this match. He's going to get taken down. They know at least two are over on A, and that should be the call for the Saints to make the push over to B. And that's going to be happening right now. Sushi, he's not going to... Oh, he is not going to get behind the cover before it's too late. He's going to get taken down before he can really find his way on the point. And this is looking to be another round for the Saints. Potentially could lose if they're going to lose any from this point on. The drone is getting a lot of value here. They're... <laughs> 
didn't take that down uh, faster than they should have. Wombat going down Gub, uh, finding one Jello from behind, taking down another JCN, however, with Darm. Going to be able to find the stragglers for the wow. Saints. It's two to eight now. We're seeing Northeastern University finally taking one more. Yeah. It seems like it's that was it. That was the boiling point. It, we <laughs> hit it, it boiled over, and now that round it has to be spent on cleanup duty here. I mean, they have enough to nice. try and spend to get things back to where they are. But if they lose another one, things are going to start to look a little bit dicey. I mean, 8-4 is not not a good half if you're the 4, but it's not as bad as it could have been if you're Northeastern. And looking at the alt economy right now, Barbosa has that ultimate to use. And we saw in that last fight, Cypher ult is very, very scary when you're trying to figure out where the last two are. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's definitely, uh, with how the Saints were playing, they actually could have pulled it back. So they definitely needed that util to keep them in the final inside of Northeastern University. And speaking of util, a big exchange going out on A. It's going to amount to nothing, however, as everyone's going to walk out of that fully alive and I think at full HP as well. Dashlane coming through, but Sushi taking down before he get engulfed by the flames. Arka taking him to the flames of hell instead as b is going to be the name of the game for the Saints. Trying to get it burst open. However, there's a stalwart defender there. The Cypher JCN, he's taking down one, almost two now. They're going to take him down, however. Jello finding one with his molly. Spike is down. Saints holding down Fort B as three assailants start coming from all angles to take them down. Darm finding Wombat through the smoke and uh, Darm wow. actually now taking out a second in the blink of an eye it's just Jello versus the world but he's definitely capable of this wow. one even concussed he's taking down the attackers with the perfect play setting them off their feet it's so close to a clutch he's recognizing it now he just needs to play safe Jordan everything is on <laughs> you right now don't no. let it go to waste unfortunately he's gonna get taken down oh two seconds too late yeah I think think this is going to be the defuse and the saints just by a hair almost had a clean clutch for the history books he's got to clean up his ring around the rosy <laughs> <laughs> he just barely missed that if he just went the wrong way around the pillar it could have changed mm. completely but you know that for next time now jello but beautiful clutch up that was a disaster scenario to be in and he almost want it for his team. Yeah, for sure. Um, definitely no shame in that situation. Realistically, I can't even say it went as expected. It went uh, really unexpectedly in the sense that he did way better than he was supposed exactly. to in that <laughs> circumstance. So, of course, congratulations to Jordan there, but not able to seal the deal as now the Saints, I think they're looking to start playing a lot faster, maybe recognizing that Northeastern University, they are not the kind of team that you need to play too slowly against, and the faster you go, the better they've been having uh, a time here getting on the B site. Util is going to open up their push. They're going to be dashing around Jordan, or soon He's going to be looking for some kills there, but he was kind of snared a little bit. JCN taking down Barbosa, the opposing Cypher. Spike is down once again. Saints are down one member, but they have the advantage. And now evening it up a little bit. Sushi taking down one, but it's an exchange trade now. Two down for both teams. It's a 2v2, 2v3 situation as Burberry comes around the corner. A shotgun in hand. Jello doing a good amount of damage. We're not going to be able to kill Wombat taking down Darm. 1v2 situation. And he has to make something happen here. No more chances. Finding nothing. Almost getting the kill. But almost is not enough to win a round. Now, that scoreline you were kind of talking about is real. And this is actually kind of good for the Saints. Because if they won that one, they would have been on 9-3. That would have been scary. You're right. The 9-3 curse would have mm -hmm. been real. And that's always something you have to try and play around. They <laughs> love playing around. I know not everyone's superstitious. But if there's going to be a team that's superstitious, I believe it's this one. Yeah. The Saints Academy team, they got to believe in that stuff. They don't like walking under ladders, breaking mirrors, walking, <laughs> crossing black cat's paths. They try and avoid all that kind of stuff. Yeah, throw salt behind them whenever exactly. they walk around the place. Uh, people don't like them for it, but, you know, I respect their, their traditions, I suppose, their, they their have superstitions. To. They, they want to do everything they can to increase their odds. I see them out in the field sometimes looking mm. for four-leaf clovers. They <laughs> 
So you got to hope every time they found one, though, they mm. win. So yeah, let's hope dedicated. they found one today. I'll definitely ask them after this game whether or not they found their four-leaf clover tonight. But that field is going to be searched hard and wide if they end up losing this game because it would prove the f the clover piece is valuable. Sushi taking out one, not going to repeat the history of the previous pistol round, or at least giving the Saints a strong start, getting one more util coming through. Prowler looking for any victims to discombobulate. A nice flashbang coming ar around that wall. Wombat in a little bit of trouble. Going to get taken down through the wall again. Saints, they are trying to even up the numbers just a little bit here. Burberry finding Barbosa. The spike is down. They have to find their way onto the site. Gub with the smoke in hand wants to get his team an opportunity, but Natex taking down wow. two. It's just Jello, and if anything can tell me a hint for what's gonna happen here, that last clutch situation didn't go his way. This one isn't either five to eight. In this game, Northeastern University are making a strong comeback from what we were seeing before. Strong is an understatement, but hey, that was Pistol. We saw what happened last time the Saints lost the Pistol. Ooh. They brought it back for, what was it, like an eight round win streak, seven yeah. round win streak, so. If they can make something like that happen once again, I think they'll be in a very, very good spot. So this round is very contingent for the Saints. If they can t win this one, I think it's all smooth sailing from here on out. For sure. I, I do think that this is going to be a huge swing round for either team because it would be either 8-6 to six or 9-5. to five. Either score line is a lot better for the teams in perspective to the score. So they do want to do their best to tip the scales ever in their favor as Arka, drone in hand, going to be trying to find any data. But Natex getting behind that box, dropping the spike. You can already see this team is a lot faster on the offense than the Saints have been playing this entire game. Wombat spraying through the smoke, trying to find anything. So she's taken down by Darm with the pistol in hand too. JCN is going to get taken down by Gub, however. Barbosa with a share of spring, just a few pixels off of what would have been devastating for this University. But that hot shot is devastating for them instead. Saints cleaning up wow. once again in the pissed round after pistols. <laughs> it is now nine to five. This shift is going to be looking not to go to overtime at this pace. That's just absolute mayhem. <laughs> I just cannot believe that they're able to turn things around. That kill feed is so hard to follow. It's just yeah. back and trade, 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 trade. And somehow, they're winning these trades out with pistols, not, <laughs> no less. Like, they, it's absolutely insane that the Saints are able to play around that major disadvantage. It's it's just less distractions. They have less gun to worry about. Yeah, they have a less flashy gun. skins, too. Yeah, it's, just, it's a little thing in the corner of your screen. You're not looking at it. You're not trying to line it up with the wall or whatever. You just click. It's easier to immerse yourself. And Sushi immersing himself as he, too, is pretty fast. And uh, that's why he's playing Neon. Looking to find his way into the site, or uh, defending the site rather. Seeing Sushi on Neon, my brain is immediately like he's just scouting for information, trying to get onto the site for his team. But now he's on the defense. I want to see how this team is going to adjust their play style to fit their new circumstance, as it seems they are continually just playing on these power points. They don't want to stress themselves too thin while not committing too hard to one's own gub in a really good position to potentially find a lot of kills. He just has to hold and burn, like, keep his his discipline as they look to be potentially making the leap across the gap. Gub going to use the smoke, but their own smoke is going to come up to allow their passage through this corridor with relative ease. Gub coming around now. Flashes are wow. going through. And that's going to allow him to run around with the stinger, taking down two <laughs> headshots. Both of those kills well done by Coach Gub as Wombat doing him proud. Takes down one in his honor. Looks to be Northeastern University, b site push not going their way. Yeah, things aren't going their way. And Nadex here in control of this, trying to get the plant. I mean, they're eking out on the site, but mm. with the tensions rising, four players all waiting in the wings. Arby's gonna find one, oh, he's gonna wow. get taken down. And there's Jello getting the last laugh, taking them out. <laughs> and I liked what you said earlier about the power points. They just control these power points and then find the right moment to excel. And then they end up having that final word. 
I knew you were going to say that. I was like, because I realized as soon as you said Excel, I'm like, he's setting this up for Microsoft Office, but ain't he? It, the whole suite. Yeah, this the whole suite. And this one's not going to cost you $699.99. All right, this one's on the house, ladies and gentlemen. But if you liked it, definitely subscribe to the Twitch channel. Use a Twitch Prime. <laughs> yeah, use that Twitch Prime. What else are you using it for? Nothing. If you don't like the ads, that's the way to avoid it. Amen. I can't see the chat right now, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's at least one person complaining about the ads. It's always someone. <laughs> but again, we can't control it, ladies and gentlemen. All we can control are the sweet, sweet, sweet Microsoft Office puns going on <laughs> in the action tonight, ladies and gentlemen. As we're getting underway, Saints once again holding all of these PowerPoint. Oh, there it is, PowerPoint. And <laughs> once again, uh, they're holding it down, making sure that Northeastern University can't find their way in. Sushi dash lane is up, but they're running in. And in fact, he was still able to get a good amount of damage just knowing game sense, game wise, that someone's probably gonna run at him right now. And he started spraying down before he went down himself. Very, very finding their way into the site. Natex gonna go for a fake plant. Darm is taking out Wombat as soon as the opportunity arises. The Saints now looking to turn things around. As Natex slides that into position, I don't mean to dock the Saints any marks, but they need to break through these smokes, which are like sheets above their eyes here, but oh. it's going to be arm be getting taken down by Gub 3v4 situation. Things are looking very dire. Barbosa making their way around town here. All three of them stacked in, breaking their way oh, through. Wow. Down to 2v3. Oh, oh my oh, god. And that's going to be a point going over the way of Northeastern. That again, I, I always kind of call back to the Tarkin, back to the Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon days. That looked like one of those like in-game animation, execution animations <laughs> where it's just like you highlight the two enemies, press the button, yep. and kill them at the same time. It's, the sync shot. <laughs> exactly. It looks so coordinated. Uh, but of course, it just happens to be that way sometimes. Unless, maybe they are Plus, coordinating. I think I they know. are coordinated. I think there's some coordination going Plus, here. You know, Dare I say, me, maybe some strategizing. I think they might be on a team, guys. <laughs> I think these guys might be talking to each other about what's might, happening. I think they might practice together. No. I think they've played together before. But anyways, wow, Sushi Whoa. sliding in, gets a kill, gets traded out. But that's something I mean, you can't practice. Just bring this down to 4v4, make it a little easier for everybody. Yeah, just, just he wants to go into the next game, win or lose, okay? He doesn't care. Of course he cares. He cares so much. He's bequeathed the will to his brother to carry on in his name. Jello taking down JCN, avenging him. Darm taking down Wombat, now Gub. Leaving nothing but a trace. Jello doing the same with his own triple kill, but now Darm with the four, with the five, an ace for the history books against the Saints, no less. Not easy to do. Not gonna get the spike. You can't have it all, my friend. Take the win. You're not getting the extra credits. You already got all the kills. And that still isn't even enough to put him in top first place. <laughs> No, oh, he has a lot of room, but there's the brothers battling it out yeah. for first place. Sushi needs to do something explosive here. Sushi needs to get the 4K to even it out. Maybe just get an ace to get the one up on your brother. <laughs> just get an ace. Just get an ace. I mean, you're one point away from old. One headshot, and then you can maybe run away with this thing. True. Uh, the thing is, though, I think the Saints are probably going to want to play slower this round. They are running all sheriffs. They don't have the money for anything else. But we have seen them. I, they have a 100% win rate on these thrifties. <laughs> now that I think about it. So Wombat, with the sheriff in hand, sitting in the mid lane. He's not necessarily sitting duck, however. Okay, maybe he is now as they tag him just like he is one. The, uh, Burberry running for his team. Baton in hand, looking to deliver the package. Smoke is going to go up, sectioning off the Saints completely. They have nobody on any of the flanks. They're going to be forced to go the long way to A site. And still, it has to be done even slower, as they don't have any way of knowing whether or not there's going to be someone around the corner. Smokes are up. And Barbosa almost finding a nice, scary headshot. As they find one now, Barbosa taking down one with the Cypher ult. They know the locations of everybody. Jello making use of that information, taking down a headshot. Sushi doing much the same. It's a 3v2 situation. Darm down once more. Can the Saints really pull off another thrifty 2v1 now? Arca with the gun, full HP, full armor. This can't happen again. Saints. No oh my way. god! Jello taking him down for the third thrifty. The Saints have attempted. They get it once again. They got three alts on the board now, three on the side of Northeastern as well. Things are looking good for the Saints. <laughs> Two more for them to win the game. Why do they even use any other weapons? They have a hundred percent win rate with the the cheaper weapons. I mean, <laughs> conserve the economy, everyone. I mean, you don't maybe you don't want that to be a well known secret. True. You want to keep that under wraps. Just be like, oh, it's a fluke. It's a fluke. But if it happens every Deep. time, is it really a fluke? And 
I see you there, Sushi. You're going to be popping that Neon ult. No one just buys a shorty and buys nothing else. Oh, there it is. The oh, it's a battle. It is a clash of beams No here. one interfere. There's Burberry trying to get something out of the wing. <laughs> no! <comes> through. <laughs> Tyler, how could you? Breaks Everything the sanctity. Yeah, <laughs> well, there were some interference going on, but Tyler still ended up technically losing that duel. Natex, Sheriff in his hands now. As uh, I, Honestly, that Neon duel was so flashy and, and bright, I, I kind of forgot where I was. I got flashbang myself, and here we are over on mid. Jello taking down one through the wall. It's a 3v2. But B-side is open for Northeastern University. They just have to take the opportunity to sp uh, spike, plant the spike. <laughs> I was so close to saying that three times and I finally accidentally said it. Arka down as Gub takes him down. It's going to be just Natex looking for the plant. If you can at least find it, that's some money in your pocket. There it is, a nice clean 300 as uh, Wombat finding the wow. final kill they need. I even heard them say nice through the wall. That's I how hype that these too. guys are. <laughs> yeah, and it's just one more round for the Saints to take game one, put it in their pocket, walk away, forget it was there, and then wake up the next morning, it's crushed and looking completely destroyed. Like, oh, I forgot I put this here. <laughs> Yeah, you have your chance right here, right now. 7 to 12. You're on that barrier. You can win. Victory is within sight. You have two more ultimates in your back pocket. I mean, that fatal, that could just change things <laughs> for the team. That could just change the entire round. That could win you an yeah. entire round if you just no, play seriously. it right. But that's the question. Can they win this one. I mean, on paper, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, with Gub with his ult as well, he's here anywhere that they need him to. And he's playing furthest from B site, so as soon as anything happens on B, he's probably going to be the first one over there. Uh, but they're getting aggressive on A. Sushi dashing in, looking for something, not finding it, but a bullet to the head. Jello looking to avenge his brother is going to go down to the same man that killed him, Burberry. And the rest of Northeastern University making their way over to A, recognizing the weakness. Arka taking down Wombat, Barbosa taking him down as a revenge kill to the four situation. Gob finding one, almost found two. It's just Barbosa left coming around the corner. Almost found a headshot, but not quite. It's an eight to 12. Northeastern University, they're still in this game. That's a scary scoreline. I mean, it's not unwinnable. It's gonna be very tough. Uh, they need to have that Saint run in the attacking after themselves here. They need that giant blue win streak they have. But if they don't get that, the Saints are going to win. You know, they have everything in order to do it. And I think they're whipping out the secret strat here. <laughs> Sheriffs. Yeah. I mean, let's see if the 100% win rate transfers over here. And if it does, I think we have a conspiracy on our hands. No, for sure. But to be fair, they don't all have Sheriffs. So if there's any discrepancies, that's probably going to be why Sushi looking to become the unnecessary discrepancy in Northeastern University's game plan. As the Kamehameha's are coming through, they know where he is and they want him bad. But he's a little too small, a little too nimble to get the kill, but they're at least going to take him down to half. Now, Northeastern University still playing on the bottom half of the map, slowly making their way up to be while Saints are recouping, playing all together, two in mid, three on B. They're looking to make this hold one minute remaining. One minute left on the clock, and I mean, that's not a lot of time left after we've played such a long game. You can definitely tell the pressure is on mm -hmm. for Northeastern. They know that the Saints might be having those sheriffs. You know, they didn't have too much money going into this round. And after you've lost so many rounds that you should have, should have there. won, there. the nerves are definitely going to set in. But they're getting in position. They're going to go for one quick assault here. There it is. Neon's going in, gets stunned, and taken out by Jello. Immediately, no less. Jello taking them down. The imposter Neon Wombat with the smoke down. Two, two for Sushi. Stinger in hand. It's covered in blood. Sliding through, not fighting anybody. But on his next lap, he could find the game winning kills as the smoke goes up. They're forcing the back line, not even using the fade ult, even though it's just completely unnecessary. Now they literally can't win the game. Not enough time, but Jello with the 3k <laughs> to end the game. Flawless round for the Saints to end things off.
Game one, going to Saints, you can see the energy. The guys are on fire. Electric vibes are perfect all around. Jordan smile, Tam smile, anything for those smiles. I'll do anything to see them happy. Uh, that's great to hear. And they'll do anything to win, even master the sheriffs down to the T. I mean, that's absolutely amazing. They've won every single thrifty round in yeah. that game. When they're down and out, when the pressure's on, they are there to answer the call. Again, but hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're excited, we're happy, but again, that was our map. If the Saints are going to have any hope in this series, they better recreate the same success they had on some maps that they maybe aren't too comfortable on. Northeastern University put on a really strong fight against the Saints, especially from that eight-win streak in for the Saints. <laughs> uh, just eight rounds, completely uncontested. Uh, but they brought it back to being, what was it, 8 to 13? It was 8-13, yes. 8-13, all the way home. But, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of home, we're going to treat this room like it's our home for a little bit as we take a quick break as we get settled in for the next game. Players are going to get their water. They're going to use the bathroom, do whatever they need to do. Search for more lucky uh, four-leaf clothes. Yeah, I saw Tam just running, running across the door, so that's, <laughs> that must be where he's going uh, as they want this game in the bag. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after a quick break. Don't go anywhere.
Hello everybody, after a very exciting map one from the academy team, I mean how more exciting can it get? We're going to be going into map two very, very soon. I believe that second map is going to be Haven. Yeah, and uh, just off of like the five seconds of interaction I got with the players after game one, the looks on their faces, the way they were talking to each other, the way they were moving, they're energized, they're ready to go. And this is how they always are whenever they have a game. It's it's something you love to see, and when they're having success, they're feeling that success. And we talked about it a little bit before, you don't want to get too successful, you don't want to feel it too much, because then you start slipping up, maybe playing in ways you shouldn't be, but you definitely want to take your victories and use them to get you more. Exactly, and I think they had a little bit of that experience in the last game. Mm -hmm. They had such a big lead, but then beginning of the second half, it was a little shaky. Things were not as good as they could have been, but they cleaned it up towards the latter half, and it was an absolute joy to watch. But let's see which agents they're going to be bringing in to Haven, the three-point map. Oh, it looks like we even have a, a switch out, casual oh. scrub coming in on the Cypher. Maybe this map is their expertise again. Who knows? These players are mysterious. I see something I am very excited about. Never mind. Wombat was hovering the new agent vice, but no. <laughs> We're going to go for that Silva. I mean... That's the thing with Valorant. The agents that are good are just absolutely good. That kind of has the opposite problem that League of Legends has. Whenever it introduces a new champion in League of Legends, it is the meta, it runs, it defines the game, the teams, and how things run. And Valorant, not so much. It's the old guard that are prominent. And, you know, after a year or two, much like Neon didn't see much play, after one big update, one big adjustment, one big buff to Neon, now Neon is a mainstay. I mean, personally, I love any excuse to go fast in any game I play, so you don't need to change anything for me. I'm content to see Neon in any match, but hey, I am really happy to see the Saints <laughs> utilizing Sushi with on the Neon. <laughs> you love Neon just the way she was. She didn't exactly. need a change for you, but I'm not a band. You're happy player. that she did. <laughs> I mean, I don't even play her, so I don't have to worry about anything they change about this character. I just have to enjoy watching her. And I think it's mainly also Jet has been nerfed after nerf after nerf. She's not here. Yeah, no so. more Jet. I mean, Jet's such a mainstay. So many people are so comfortable on Jet as well. It was kind of, you know, they they were probably the most overtuned agent in the game. Then nerfs happened, but people mm. just kind of outskilled the nerfs for a long, <laughs> long time. They just kept, kept getting better and better. But we've hit a wall, and that wall has led people to Neon. Well, hey, speaking of walls, the Saints are destroying them. They're all in uniform with their banners, blowing up anything that may be in their way. But ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Game two, we're looking at the Academy team, showing what they're made of in this matchup against Northeastern University. We're here on Haven. This is where boys turn to men. This is where fish turn into dragons, going up the mythical waterfall and turning into beasts of fables and this mysteries. Is, this is where spikes are planted and detonated for the Saints starting attack. Amen. They are going to be probably a little bit wary into this pistol round. They have never won a pistol round against Northeastern today. But True. maybe this round is where they break that little curse. But I wonder if there's a binding vow there that if they win a pistol <laughs> round, they'll lose that guaranteed thrifty. <laughs> maybe. I, I'm wondering if that could actually be something that's happening. Because the, f the rate at which this team is winning things they shouldn't be uh, <laughs> and losing things that they... Well, not necessarily shouldn't be, but like, why are you? It's it's really weird. So uh, this is probably the most anticipated pistol round of my life. I want to see how this goes. And the round after it, definitely going to be interesting one way or the other. If they lose pistols again and then win the round after again, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I know the Saints <laughs> are going to be doing what they usually do. And that's going to be holding up mid, waiting for an opportunity to make a beeline for either of these points. And this time, they have an extra option. This is a three-site map. Yeah, three sites starting attack. You have a lot to choose from. It's like a buffet. Do you want a little taste of A, a little bit spicy? Do you want something a little bit more sweet on B? Or do you want... The sour sea site go along and try and play the range. I mean, it's going to be an A pick for the Saints here. They split left. pushing up both lanes, trying to find any sort of opening at all. But they're taking it slow. No one's there to stop them. 
no one's there to stop them. And it might be for their own good because they might not have much uh, success stopping him and might get stopped themselves. 12 seconds remaining. Saints are going for the spike plant. Someone in heaven spraying down on them, but Wombat's going to find the spike plant. Bur Burberry's taking down Sushi as he finds his way, slides into the site. Jello taking down one. Gub taking down one as well before he goes down. Darm coming around the corner, and Saints are getting wiped. Arka with the four kills. Now, here's where things get serious. They had to. They had to lose that one. That's part of their deal to win every thrifty. They cannot win a normal pistol round. That is the rules they've set up for themselves. We'll see if that pays off. Okay. If they can win this one, then there's something on foot here. Yeah, I, I really don't know. <laughs> if the Saints win this one... <sighs> <laughs> There's That's more than four say. leaf clovers afoot. <laughs> There's some sacrifices going on. Um, and the pistol round is the sacrifice. Maybe look at look at the KDAs. This is like binary code right now. Maybe they're look trying to right. tell us something. One 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 zero zero one zero zero one zero zero one zero. Like that has to translate and, to something. An Arca up there at the top four and oh. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing everything off. Uh, Quantum computing. Maybe, <laughs> he's got cubits up there. Damn. <laughs> maybe that's why they're winning all these pistol rounds. And maybe that's why the States are finally going to lose this thrifty, breaking the code, cracking the encryption. Can the Saints do something about their plain text? They need to turn it to ciphertext. Now, Otacon, as they're kind of pushing up this mid site. Pinstring C. It's just one guy, actually one behind him. But if they can get the jump on either of them, not quite, not yet. Casual scrub taking down Sushi right after Dom takes on Barbosa. But Jello taking down one Gub is going to fall. Casual scrub spraying down Wombat, but he retreats back into the shadows from whence he came and sent into the shadow realm. The Saints are not going to perform their black magic and are going to lose this round as they should. Yep, that is going to be typical. There's nothing afoot. Maybe the four-leaf clover can only grant a four thrifty rounds. <laughs> and now they're all out of that. They have to just play with the skill in their hands and in their minds to try and turn this one around. I mean, they have the armaments necessary to do so going into this next round. They have the full buys. A little bit light on the shields but hey you got to take the offense where you can get it sacrifice a little bit of defense and make things work yeah they have to make things work here as this next round is going to be their last chance for quite a bit if they don't make something happen here then they will really be in trouble for the next few not just in game but mentally as well the saints just after taking a pretty successful win to be going down so hard in the first three would be devastating and would probably throw them off quite a bit but as reality is forced back into their purview the utils raining down on them they're forced to recognize the situation that they're in using the drone see if they can find any info sushi coming up taking down burberry i thought he got taken out just based off of what's happening on that drone but still sushi spraying natex is gonna take him out wombat oh wow, wow. arca were those no scopes those are no scopes <laughs> check a pc moment what i, I think that? so <laughs> that was a little weird to me but in any case the saints are at least gonna be able to get the spike plant two to three now Gonna use that smoke to his advantage. Looking to tag through, almost finding him, but just tagging him through that box. Casual scrub, hopping his way onto the site, but another sink shot moment, taking down the remaining Saints. It's two, two, there's three to nothing now after this plant is going to get diffused. A little bit of role reversal. I think we're seeing what you said earlier, Daniil, come into play. When they're winning, they're winning. When they're in that flow state, it's going good. Mm. But when they can't find it, they haven't found the exact flow to go into. Mm -hmm. It's so tough. One thing I'm noticing for sure is this team is having uh, a lot of second doubts or second uh, second thoughts when it comes to making their plays. Uh, they're, they're playing really slow. If, in fact, on that first pistol round, we saw that they were really running the clock, like 12 seconds remaining there um, before they finally got the spike planted. I feel like if they try speeding things up a bit, like you have a Neon for a reason, right? You have that fast information gathering. You have a Sova as well. Why not just get a little information and dash in rely on your mechanics? I feel like that might be something the Saints are a little bit more used to on the playstyle uh, dimension. But you can only wait and see what they're capable of. As Sushi is going to get taken down as Natex 
is going to find him on the approach. Maybe this is why they're not playing too fast. Because <laughs> they will, don't want to get stuffed as soon as they try to make their approach. Jello getting the spike plant. But it looks like they sped up their gameplay quite a bit. Jello getting a first pick, and now a trade comes through from Darn. I mean, you'd guess so with a better weapon there. Nadex, though, doesn't know what's waiting for him on the other end of the smoke. Doesn't get the double kill, but has his teammate there, Arkha, to clean things up. And now there's just one left. Wombat, though, going to be taken down. And now time is ticking, but what also is ticking is the score of Northeastern. It's taken up to 4 and 0. Oh. Yeah, 4 and 0. Oh. Saints haven't even had a chance to show what they have on this map yet. And looking at this round, they're going to be able to at least afford some guns. So they're not going to be forced into those thrifty plays that we're kind of uh, renowned for at this point in this series. But still, the guns you have mean nothing if you don't have a confident strategy that you want to execute. Looking the way they are right now, if they are going to play this A, I would love to see what an offensive push looks like from the Saints if they just hard commit for it. You're already back, you're already down, you already have no money, what's left to lose? Just start experimenting. Just start experimenting, start trying things out, see what works, what can break through this impeccable defense on the side of Northeastern. Barbosa here in mid being a little bit of a lurker, we're seeing a bit of a change up on the Saints strategy. Yeah, he's lurking around, just looking to find any opportunities or little hints of opportunities for his team, turn them into bigger ones and allow them to capitalize. The fact that he doesn't see anyone here is still information. You don't have to be constantly finding gunfights and getting trades out uh, as a lurker. Any data you can find <laughs> is relevant. And again, not seeing somebody oftentimes is enough. And still, as he's sitting in this garage, not hearing any rotations, not seeing any faces, this could give some information to the Saints. What information that is, I have no idea, because I'm not as good as them. I don't play this game as much as they do, but still, it looks like the, it's telling them something as they're finally making their way over to A, using the recon dart to scan things out. Can they recognize the situation that they're in and take it into a more advantageous one? Barbosa taking down Darm in that garage. And the spike is planted. The Saints recognize that this is their moment to shine. Kamehameha's are coming through, trying to find any unsuspecting targets. But, oh, the spike didn't go down. It almost went down. Now they're finally planting it. And now it's just a matter of waiting for Northeastern University. And as they do wait, Barbosa turns them into fallen soldiers as they try to get in. But with the Owen and Arka mowing down and then wow. forced to pull out the shotgun, not going to be able to find the kill. Flash, perfectly timed. Natex is going to be forced to hide. It's 2v1 in the scene's favor. If there's a round to win, now is the time they need to line things up. But there's the shotgun. Ooh. Not good enough as Wombat is ready for it. Four to one. The Saints have finally found their footing, but will they be able to climb up to match how far Northeastern has gone? Yeah, they've fallen pretty hard, the Saints have. Uh, if only Northeastern were able to get these four wins in a row back when we were on the first map, we'd be in an overtime. I think, that, yeah, it was eight to 12. But Saints now looking to be the big dogs in the junkyard, but. They're nothing but a Chihuahua right now. Level one <laughs> to the level 99 Mafia boss. They have to do some grinding to keep themselves in this series. Arka taking down the drone. As a Silva himself, he knows when and where to expect these drones. Able to react so fast as now the Saints up to their usual tricks. Looking for a way into A site. But the truth might reveal itself soon enough. The truth may reveal itself indeed creeping onto this A side. I mean, A has worked out so far. Keep hitting A until it doesn't <laughs> give you your returns anymore. Like a gambler betting on black, it's gotta pay out sooner or later. It looks like the Saints are gonna breach in. They smoked heaven out. That's gonna be an area denied, but when you land two headshots through the smoke with a sniper <laughs> no scope, you gotta be wondering if that smoke even does anything. Yeah, I mean, maybe he, he had like one of those class 60 smokes, but Arka taking down Gub, it's not looking good for the Saints right now. They have to make sure they can have this hold down. An attacker Killjoy coming out, they have to defend this with their lives. If they can just hold it down a little bit longer, Sushi gonna fall. They're forced back into this corner, all of Northeastern University getting real cozy. One player detained from that Killjoy. 
and it's not going to amount to too much as the defuse is coming out. The Saints desperately need to find their way back onto the site. It has to be very, very soon as Northeastern University are getting aggressive. Wombat finding one, but two down for the Saints now. One more Wombat going down. Spike is Gonna going to be get defused in time. 1.97 seconds left on the clock for that one. They just have to stall a little bit longer, but couldn't find it. Yeah, two more seconds is all the Saints needed, but they're going to need more than just two rounds to come back here. It's going to be a long, hard road, and you got to hope that their defense leaves nothing to be desired at this point because the attack wow. certainly is as Northeastern sets up for the next round. They're looking comfortable. Their strategy of kind of splitting up, throwing a lot in the middle is working out perfectly for them. Especially just leaving the Cypher Util over on C. Mm. The Saints, they haven't tried C long one time, except for the first round. <laughs> yeah, I think they kind of just, it was one of those situations where you just like learned your lesson. They, they went for it, <laughs> didn't really work out. So we're just going to explore our options somewhere else though, not on C site. Maybe we spoke a little too soon. Seeing if the coast is clear over on the shiny seas of Seasight. Darm conjuring an unholy spell of wickedness. Surely it would obliterate any foe who dares stand its way. Or it creates a cloud of smoke. Who knows? Only one way to find out. It will darm anyone it hits. I see. <laughs> to darm nation. Damn. And now, there it is. Darm getting two. <laughs> Darming them forever, and now there are three left on the side of the Saints rushing this C site. They're trying to get rid of casual scrub, but he's back on the site. Morbosa finding one, being traded out once again. Two v four situation, one v four situation for the Saints. It's not looking good. All Gub has is a sheriff and a dream, but a shorty is going to be end his dreams. Yeah, he he didn't have that dream for very long. As soon as those boots uh, hit the ground in front of him. It was uh, kind of wraps from there, but timeout coming out for most likely the Saints. So yeah, it's going to be Artemis. We're going to see Gabby, manager for the team, calling the timeout, giving the boys some time to start working. Figure out what's going wrong. Something's going wrong, and what are they talking about here? We got Gov just kind of holding his head in his hands, giving his boys a chance to resolve any issues in this game. Uh, but right now, I feel like they, maybe this is just they just need some hand exercise. Who knows? Maybe maybe just you know, stretch out those wrists. You know, keep Look yourself limber. You know, keep the mind limber as well. Maybe count some sheep, you know. Lock back in. But nevertheless, things aren't going well for the Saints. This is a much needed reset. You have to try and hope this stops Northeastern's momentum. Because this is an absolute role reversal of the last games. Mm -hmm. The Saints... They did amazing, and now they're getting a taste of their own mess medicine and just kind of struggling to find something here. And I wonder if it's just paralyzation of so many choices. They have three sites to choose from, and I feel they keep looking for the perfect one when they have more than enough time to try a site and then try and rotate over if it's not looking great. Yeah, yeah. I, again, I feel like obviously they know more than I would in these circumstances, but still, uh, I favor... In 99% of situations, action over inaction. You don't want to look for the perfect situations. You want to look for a situation, any opportunity you can find. And trusting yourself and in the value of friendship, you can turn a weak opportunity into a strong one. I just want to see them go headlong in and just start getting scrappy. Make these fights happen, but don't hesitate. Um, that could spell doom for them if they tried and did what I was saying, but still, it's something I want to see. That's something I'd like to see as well. Something I'd like to see is the Saints get out of this hairy situation or turn it around for themselves. Barbosa gets one. It's looking good for them. They have somebody set up. Sushi finding another. Seems like this break it might be their breakaway moment here. Arka being taken out. And now one left on the side of Northeastern. It's Burberry creeping up this flank. And is someone watching it? Yeah, it's Sushi, but it gets taken out. Now they're on high alert. There's still three of them left. It's still not over. There's still one straight Vanguard. They need to take out. Attaboy Saints. Just need to hold it down. Dashing in. Gub taking him down. Burberry not going to have a very long life over on this site. Taking him out immediately. 6-2 to two now. This timeout might have been what the Saints needed as this is going to be their first round they're finding for quite 
Oh, it was just two rounds, but still, it felt like forever ago was the last time they had success. Still, they have a long road to recovery here, but even if they win the rest of this half, they'd be looking to be in very good shape for the next six games, or six, next six, seven rounds of this series. That's if they win all of them. Of course, that's not guaranteed, and dare I say it's even unlikely, but it's still a possibility if they are going to keep playing at the pace they're playing now. Like I said, they were just confident there. They went for the site. They held it down. They figured it out after they got in. They didn't try to figure it out before they got in. Getting in is often the hard part. Staying there, if you have enough willpower, <laughs> it's usually doable. Yeah, it's usually doable. Kind of the opposite of real life right there, you know? It's about the climb. It's not about just staying there. But nonetheless, Gub is trying to make their way onto the site. I mean, things are not looking great for the Saints. You can see that that decision paralysis is coming into fruition once again. But maybe this split push is what you want to do. You don't want to walk into this sight line. They need to check their corners. No, it, and they traded out. Thank goodness. I was worried that was going to be a double kill. Yeah, it, it could have been a double kill. They're spaced up perfectly to avoid that kind of situation. However, Sushi using the Util, forcing them back, but Burberry coming to the rescue with the laser hand, almost find, actually finding three. I really thought Sushi had him there, but he's gonna be able to take him down before he can cause too much damage to him. Laser hand threatening Wombat from afar. Recon Bolt just to get the data, but even though he had a little bit more time to work with, they're gonna use the ultimate, the Hunter's Strike, find and behind that box, not much you can do in that situation. Not much at all. And now with a fully stacked deck, it looks like Northeastern is going to get a full house this next game as they have a full arsenal of weapons. They're ready to dispense at the Saints' every approach. I mean, look at the Saints' money right now. It's down to the to. hundreds. There's nothing there. There's nothing to look at. <laughs> They're almost completely broke at this point. An all-too-familiar scene for myself. It's, it's <laughs> a really sad thing to see our Saints suffering a similar fate. But... Suffering is what makes you stronger, even if it means you lose one of your stars in the process. Sushi giving them the hope that they need, maybe. Now that he's down, they know they have no chance but to fight on in his honor. Sitting still in the middle lane, they have to make a decision. That decision is going to be left garage. They're going to use some util to scan for anybody, see if they can find any unsuspecting players of Northeastern University. But not quite yet. They're going to advance up through Garage, and now it's a matter of getting their way onto the site. They've been heavily favoring the C site for the last couple of rounds, whereas before it was mostly ignored. Wondering what that decision-making process might have been for this play switch up. But as they drop the smokes and get even closer to the right site, there. I think it's only a matter of time before we see the Saints make a big play. It's only a matter of time indeed, and time is ticking. They have 35 seconds left on the clock to make something work here. The concussion, a few bullets on the one in the back there. Barbosa going to try and take him down. Darm going to find one, but we're going to find another. Jello finding two, three, oh my saving God. the round for the team, making this a 2v2. What incredible there, Jello bringing this back from the brink. He was tired of getting bullied, tired of pushed around. No more messing around with nice guys, he said, but he is going to get taken down, put in the dirt. Gub, last man on the team, has to be the one to ensure the victory. Recognizing again, this is a situation we've seen so many times the Saints are close to holding uh, the spike plant, but then just like a second or two, was all that was separating the victory. Gub playing slow, and it's going to be rewarded finding Natex, knowing where his opponent might have been looking next. He's going to abuse that fact wow. and clutch the round. Tam, Gub, call him whatever you want, but I'm going to call him the Game Master. Clutch God, winning those seats for this round, bringing them back into this game. So the Game Master Clutch God there played that perfectly. I agree. He danced around that smoke like uh, eater, eater. like a, he was dancing the flamenco, just <laughs> absolutely perfectly in sync. And his opponent couldn't keep up, broke his ankles right there, <laughs> and just could not find the right shot. And that was 
exactly what we were talking about earlier. The Saints, they can play the aim perfectly. It's just about yeah. finding the scenario which lets that aim shine. It was like ultra instant. Like the way he did, like he was, he was like strafing right, strafing right, stop! He was like, ah, <laughs> I don't know about that one. Waited for the smoke to dissipate. You have no reason not to, right? The smoke is your friend. You're stalling for time. And that's the difference between an inexperienced, you know, hot shot. Hey, I'm rank 13 on the leaderboard. <laughs> Just going and try to find the, the, the ego duel versus Gub. He knows these situations. He's been in them so many times and he's gonna be able to come out on top in the end. But ladies and gentlemen, now we're in the present, and if we want to recreate that same success we had in the previous round. It's seven to three. The Saints are so far behind, or at least it feels like it. But realistically, one more round would do wonders. We're feeling like they're still in this game. 45 on the clock, and the Saints are just getting their way into the mid site. Looks to be the case. They actually want to play on B, and I don't hate that. They'd be able to hold it down really well as long as they keep all of their agents up. Sushi dash laning his way through, just creeping around, but is gonna get found. Darm not allowing the Saints to play at full strength. Gub's gonna take him down, however, and this is gonna be a great opportunity, but he's gonna get taken down as soon as he finishes that teleport. Casual Scrub was ready for him. Gonna be able to get that scan. They know exactly where the Saints are, and they're forced off their feet. Dash lane put up by Neon once more. Jello taking on Burberry, but Casual Scrub is gonna find Wombat as he finds the approach onto the site. Natex taken down by Sushi. It's a 2v2 situation. It's the brothers in arms, brothers in real life. They're taking him down one by one. Casual Scub is going to take down Sushi over. But yes. Jello for the win. Taking him out for his brother. Seven to four. You don't want to mess with these two. Last round before the swap. And they could do something awesome here. Yeah, if they bring this to a seven to five, that is absolutely beautiful. Salvaging what looked to be almost a lost game at this yeah. point. I think where this is seven to five, that is easily closable. 100% and realistically, like, oh my god, numbers are so stupid. You, you see seven to three, like, oh, it's impossible. They can't win. You see seven to four, like, oh, hold on. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> we can win this. <laughs> and then seven to five, it might as well be five to five. It might as well be three to three. It doesn't even Wow, it's starting to drop on. With an incredible opening two kills. Wombat following up with the command man, taking down the omen to just a sliver <laughs> of HP, forcing him. He's basically out of this round. Let's be real. He's out of this round with as scrappy as these games are. He cannot survive an exchange with the Saints. He has to He's forced to play super far back. And that's something Joe's never done before, is just swing into that yeah. window. They weren't ready what? for it. And you know, you gotta save those hacks for the last oh round. Arkaw getting the God. trade. It's not gonna be too good, but the Omen's still up here with oh no HP God. left to remain. And now there's just one. It's just casual scrub. And he's casually gonna get taken out by God. Incredible. The Saints, I think they just forgot who they are for a while. <laughs> they just remembered, oh wait, we're just better than these guys. And they just started playing like it, swinging around the corners, finding the shots that they couldn't. Every single situation, we said, hey, hey, Ari knows what they're doing on the observer slot. Especially the people who are probably gonna win the gunfights, <laughs> but every single time we're on someone, they end up dying because the Saints are just better in those circumstances. Those, those gunfights, not winnable, and they're still winning them. And speaking of <laughs> unwinnable, oh, pistols. this is gonna look unwinnable if the Saints don't win this pistol round. This is it. It's a tie game or it's bust. I mean, with these Saints, True. we never know. Yeah. Usually it's two rounds if you win the pistol, but we never know. Hopefully it can go one way or the other. Nevertheless, you're hoping it goes their way. Seven to seven. That's a lot of wiggle room there. Yeah, Sushi comfortably nested underneath that recon dart of his teammate Natex with the cyborg arm looking to cause some havoc. Saints now on the defense and I think, just look at them, they look comfortable. I don't, look, look, if you look at that <laughs> mini-map, I don't even know what that means, but they look comfortable to they're me. They're comfortable. They're they look comfortable. comfortable. And they're sitting on these power spots. They don't want to budge. They're like the Infinity Stones in the gauntlet. You don't... Once it's there, it's not moving. It's not going to leave, right? I don't think the Saints are going to be leaving anytime soon. <laughs> Bounced off the... Interesting. Oh, but maybe a little bit of mind games there. A little bit of a trick shot. Skipping the maybe. stone off of the alarm bot. And now it looks like they're going to try and breach into A with the Saints doing the flank of all oh, flanks. Wow. Not really paying off there wow. at all. They lose two. 
this is looking bad for the Saints right now. Pistols, again, they have a bad track record, but this would be 9-5 to five most likely if Northeastern wins this one because they're probably going to win the follow-up. Saints, though, they could tie this up if they manage to get a clutch, at least numbers-wise. That's statistically what would happen. But Casual Scrub coming up from behind, finds Gub, but Barbosa not allowing the follow-up kills. Leading the charge now. June getting aggressive. Arca is going to be swinging on the corner. Barbosa's down. Jello taking down Natex, but with the swing, the numbers weren't in your favor. Saints losing that round 8-5 to five now. And again, most likely going to be 9 now. You have to be hoping that they have one more leaf left to burn on that lucky four <laughs> leaf clover. Maybe it was a five or six leaf clover at oh. this point. I'm not counting these rounds. But if there's a round, you need a little bit of that Saints magic or luck, whatever you want to call it, skill deep within themselves. They Hopefully. need to win this pistol round. <laughs> Hopefully it's skill. You, you, ideally, it would be skill they're relying on. To win but these. it's such an insurmountable thing to win. You want that reliability here. Yeah, and relying on everything you have to, to come out on top, relying on that aim, relying on anything that they can to come out on top in these circumstances. It's going to be stack up over in this nest on A. Dashing through, it's going to immediately stop. And maybe recognizing that's a little too hasty, yeah. even for Neon's taste. Scub with teammate holding down the flank over on C site, seeing if any rotations come through. They definitely get the kills that they need. Now, Northeastern University playing things slow. One minute remaining. Three Saints stacked up on A. And that looks to be the site that they're favoring. So the Saints are doing good to make sure that they have bodies there ready for anything. It's just a matter of finding these gun duels. If the Saints can get this opening kill, I think it would do a lot of things for them, fighting the rest. They're fighting the data. Saints recognizing what's going on. Burberry almost finding the kill. Sushi taking him down. That's a great opener. Follow up to take down Sushi in revenge. Darm taking down one more for the Saints. Jello taking down a good kill. Barbosa and Gub following. It's just Jello left, and he has a phantom. He's not going to have the secondary magic, but he's still able to take down Darm. Reloading as they swing around the corner. Casual Scrub is going to catch him with his mag on the ground, and the following one. Not in its place. Nine to five now. Saints, they're not out of this game completely, but they still have a long road to walk. Yeah, it's nine to five from here on out. The Saints are going to be clocking in some overtime pay, hoping to get home to their family soon enough. They want to get this over with, but they don't want to go home nope. without the paycheck here. They want to bring this to nine to 13. They want to go all the way past the clock. They want this now more than ever. Yeah, and hey, if we're talking maps, I don't think this is the safe map. This is probably Northeastern's favored one. And as we're seeing that kill start the round off, Burberry is going to be hurting a lot after it. it hurts, it's going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you. At least he's dead. He doesn't have to feel that pain anymore. But in Burberry, going to be feeling that for the rest of this round, especially Neon, your initiator, dashing in, not going to be able to take an extra bullet or two that could make all the difference still now. The Saints, even though they're down one they look to have a strong presence on the map rotations are starting to come through and while they have left a open they're getting strong control on mid not gonna be able to find that kill sushi going down jello not too far behind barbosa looking to get the final clean up kill taking out casual scrub but that's gonna be the opportunity that northeastern university was waiting for a site's open they're gonna get the plant it's just two saints to try to get this retake Retake is the name of the game. They need to retake this round and retake control of the game. Because 10 to 5, that's double the point difference. No matter how you cut the math, that's not looking good. But Whoa! getting one oh crazy God. flick there. Incredible. You just need to find a little bit more. So close to finding that one, Gub. Uh, he he does have a Vandal, I believe, so he's probably going to look to play the save, which I do value. I respect that, knowing that he's probably not going to be able to take down three full HP warriors sitting on the A site, and he's going to be able to hold on to a valuable gun here in the next round, which this is where you don't want to start playing Eco in mind uh, on the 12th round. It's every round leading up to that 12th round that matters so much more, in my opinion, when it comes to the Eco game. So, 
despite losing the round, the Saints are going to already have two Vandals, a Stinger and uh, another Stinger. They're, they're not going to be ill-equipped in this round. They, they still have a strong chance. No, they are not ill-equipped. They had just enough money to buy a very competitive arsenal, but they have three rounds left to lose, and they need, what, like eight rounds in the bag to take this one home. Yeah, but they are definitely eligible to find it. They just have to make it work. Burberry is looking to see that sea site wide open. Just make the 100 meter dash, run all the way in, get the spike plant. Nate Tex is going to find it. The Saints scrambling over to sea site. A little bit of uh, confrontations can be found. Barbosa getting the jump on Casual Scrub this time around, getting the kill. The flankers like so strong. Sushi almost getting a kill there, but almost getting killed himself. 93 HP on the Neon, and they're drawing a lot of attention. Look at the map. The Saints, they've wrapped around completely. <laughs> they're on C completely. They have it down. Can they find the defuse? Wombat's defusing it. Northeastern University, they're fishing a barrel, getting <laughs> sprayed down, and the wow. Saints wiping him off of the map, getting the defuse and getting all the kills. Saints finding that round in a really interesting fashion. It was very interesting. <laughs> Oh my if God. they keep having plays like that, where I'm going to be a very strong realist here, we outright winning it this game, it's going to be very tough. Bring this game to an overtime. Now that is possible. I don't. I think they could win the overtime easily. But yeah. It's just about getting there. Now yeah. that is the name of the game. That is the mission on the Saints' minds. Try and equalize the score as closely as possible. One round at a time, for sure. Though we can speculate about overtimes and this and that, but in this next round, anything can happen, and the Saints just have to hope that it's going to happen in their favor. Burberry, another open sea site. The Saints. I guess they're confident in their retaking skills over here. They don't even bother trying to stop them. Jello coming around the corner, looking like an NPC a little bit, just sprayed it down. In a stealth game, Gub is gonna fall. Barbosa at least taking down the man that took him out. It's three to three now. Saints clog their way to Seasight. And with this tiny gap that they have to play with, Killjoy is going to go down. And <laughs> Northeastern University are forced to run for life. Barbosa is going to take down the rotating Neon. One more kill is all they need to make things a lot harder. And they're forcing Natex onto the back of the site. And oh my god, they almost found the Kalat, but not quite. Saints going to get the defuse. This is exactly what they need. One HP on Barbosa. And that one <laughs> HP is going to make all the difference in the Saints finding themselves in this round. 10 to 7 now. It's looking a lot less scary, but still scary enough to consider. One HP in a dream, and that's what you need to win. You need that dream to drive you to your limits, to give you something to chase, something to strive for. And this team is striving for the win. They are bringing it back one round at a time. They're not worried about winning this entire whole thing. They're worried about winning the next round, winning the next gunfight, and winning the next chance you have with yourself for sure and now as the gates fall the saints they might be a little excited but i hope they're not over excited they still have a lot of work cut out for them even if they get this round it's still two more just to tie things sushi laser arm in hand he's gonna wait for that to recharge just dashing through holding on to every second of this looks like i was maybe wrong maybe they aren't confident in the retakes here over on c is there now they're fully stacked up on it not allowing them to find their way into it just for free Gub and the rest of the squad holding it down as the Saints are starting to rotate, suspecting that Northeastern University may have done the same. But Gub, you can see him fishing for information. I, there aren't any confirmed rotations. The Saints don't know for sure that they've been rotating. And I think that's what Northeastern University is kind of counting on here. And they're going to just double down on the seaside push. Saints scrambling back. Gub going to hold his ground here. A little flash coming through, but the dash is going to be enough to keep him up. Sushi going around the corner, swinging, finding one. Now a lot more are going to get found for the Saints. It's a 2v1 after all the bodies drop on the ground. Arka with the Guardian sitting at the back, rotating all the way to Long and Lonely A as the Saints with their devastating retake once again on C was able to get a lot of disruption. And I think they might recognize what the play might be for Arka as they're trying to meet him over on A. He's going to get the spike planted at the very least, but with the, with Sushi on the Neon, maybe he could get 
get in faster than anyone's expecting. Spike's going to go down, but they're going to play it slow. They have the numbers advantage. They just have to use it properly if they want to win. It's not impossible for Arkha to take this game. The Saints can't play too crazily. Seeing two of them immediately, but they know that they know where he is. Arkha taking down one, but we're going to have Wombat getting the clutch. Taking wow. this now, 10 to 8. The Saints don't want to lose another round, and you can see it in their play. A beautiful round for the Saints. He's excited. He's feeling himself. He's happy about it, and I don't blame him. You'll take anything you can get. No longer bottom of the leaderboard. That's going to be relegated to Sushi. Sorry, buddy. You had your fun in the sun in game one. <laughs> Enjoy the bottom while you can. Now, this could be. This is looking like this might be the generational run here. They need to take this one all the way out to the win streak of Northeastern themselves. They set the pace early on in this game with a four win streak. The Saints need to break that over to five and break themselves into a tie game. Yeah, and still, like I said at the start of that round, even if they win this round, they still have two more just to tie. Sushi, not gonna find that kill. He's really living up to that bottom of the scoreboard title there. And now he's going <laughs> to try his best to, to escape the clutches of that destiny as the Saints holding and tightening up over on A. Sushi getting ready. He sees one. He knows where he is. He knows he's there. He just has to put the cross wow. there, making me eat my words. Thank you very much, Tyler, as he's going to get that kill. Sushi looking for another, but he's going to get found. Burberry sees him before Sushi saw him. Burberry now looking to make something happen. But it's just going to be this devastating Odin from Wombat that's making it so scary. I didn't even take a look at the eco on the side of the Saints. But if they're buying Odins now, who knows what their pockets look like. I'm scared to know for myself. Maybe even Northeastern University, they could be in a scary situation going to the next round. But as he... Dashed up as the drone went around. Barbosa is going to have a gun barrel in the face of Casual Scrub <laughs> as he emerges from that smoke. And he's going to make him hear it sing. Barbosa jumping out of danger as Northeastern University are scrambling. They're desperate to find a site to plant. They only have 25 seconds remaining. Natex coming around the box. Ring around to Rosie plays once again. Spraying down the smoke. And now at least Barbosa knows for sure he's here. Can you find him in the back? Yes, he can. But he's only going to tag and not going to find the kill. Gump and Jello finding the respective plays. Let's go, guys. I mean, what what else can you say? I, any sort of team making this sort of comeback is absolutely amazing. And things are looking up. But you've tied their point streak. That is the biggest streak we've had so far in the game. Four. Can you break it? Can you break that record, that Northeastern set? Can you make it five? And looking at the economy, it should go that way. But... From what we've seen all day today, you can never count out your opponent. Never, ever, 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 ever. That goes both ways. We can't count out Northeastern University either. They established this strong lead in the first place. That alone is enough cause for concern. Wombat with the Odin, this smoke is nothing to him. He is ready to start spraying through and turning it into nothing but dust and memories. Burberry dashing through the util storm. They are pincering their way over to A. Sushi on the bottom of it. Not going to allow that Cypher to rotate if he wants. He's not even going to budge, but he's starting to budge now, actually. He's Wombat and the rest of the crew. Jello with a nice spray headshot tracking. Wombat spraying down this corridor, forcing anyone who dares to sit down and wait. Sushi finding Casual Scub. Darm taking down Wombat. It's really 2v2. 1v2 now. Gub is going to be the last man standing for the Saints. Looks like their dream is dead here as they're... Oh! <gasps> Spike is down. Look. Spike is down and in a really rough spot for Northeastern. They are now going to play their own game of trying to bring this one back. Oh, the Omen does have the ultimate, though. True. That allows True. the Omen to just nab that one. Oh, my God. And he, oh, he, but, but Gub has his own, though. Can he make the super read and, and just teleport onto That's the That's risky because it's a very loud ultimate. Gub knows they grab that. Yeah. It is not quiet, but now Gub has a lot of work cut out here. It's possible. The Sova's low. Uh -huh. It's a 1v2 situation. If you can get that omen at down and out, you have the advantage. I think if he gets the kill here, he might. And he finds it! Tam, 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 Tam. 
Calm down, buddy. Calm down. Breathe. I'm calm. You're not calm. We're You're all calm. calm We're all calm here. Everybody's calm. As Gub comes around the corner with the smoke. And can he find it? No, the four kill for Dorm. He was so close. But it's 11 to 9 now. Oh, look at him. He knows. He knows. Like, all right, guys. Hey, hey, all right, guys. All right. Hey, hey, hey. They got a good run in there. But things are looking scary now. Yeah. You don't have. You still have some money left over. Whew. It's 11 to 9. This is as close as it has ever been this game. You have to relax. You brought yourselves back from what was it? It was like, <laughs> it was uh, it was 10 to, it was less than seven. It was pretty, pretty bad. Really bad. Five, it was 10 to five. They brought themselves back from that. They can maybe bring themselves into a further lead here. Burberry going all out on the offensive, but beautiful Man, ult yeah. from Wombat. Takes one out, and Sushi oh my God. beats the ultimate with a share. Oh my God, it's a massacre. The Saints are levying on Northeastern University. There are very few survivors, just two to name. The rest of the victims, we will hold a vigil in their honor. But hey, we might not have to, as there's a masked bandito getting revenge for his fallen comrade taking down two of the Saints in their name. Casual Scrub not living up to his name, but now Jello putting a bullet in his brain, taking this 11 to 10. It's so close, Matthias. I told you this team delivers. They always do. They do. They're like you. They're like Canada Post there. They always that, deliver. They don't always deliver. <laughs> I, I will. I will. Who always delivers? Who's the best courier? None of them. <laughs> With my dying breath, I will slander every delivery company because they've all <laughs> screwed me over in one way or another but, but tam's delivery tam company not. is always been there for me and my package delivery needs and perhaps that was a tactical loss getting rid of the loss <laughs> bonus there because now look at the economy <laughs> on the side of northeastern they have nothing to speak of yeah, and unlike the Saints, they don't really have a track record of these thrifties. The Saints, oh, I don't even want to say anything, dude. I you don't want to curse it. I need to see how this I goes. I just want to see this happen. I want to see <laughs> Tam take this away with the boys. Can they make this happen? Only time will tell. And I have a test tomorrow in the afternoon. So, Gub, <laughs> I'm telling you, if you guys make this go to game three, who knows what's going to happen. I also have a business test uh, this, <laughs> this afternoon. But uh, this is the business. It's Barbosa's business, but it's not. In town, Burberry. Oh my gonna god! Take one out with Gub and Jello. Oh. It's synchronicity. There's the ultimate from Casual Scrub, making this a 3v3. This is not where you want to be for your Saints. It's already so dicey. And now those people have upgraded their sheriffs into full on vandals. This is an even fight with Spike going down on the ground. Huge ultimate from Sushi and the team. Arkad, they need to weave through all oh these god. blasts. A trade comes through. Finding it. He was so low thanks to Sushi's sacrifice. Melting away his HP. Arkad. Flash, picking up a gun. They know where he is. Spraying him down through the wall, but he's still going to take him. Arca, he's going to clutch the round for Northeastern University. The Saints had everything they needed there to make it work, but they just couldn't connect the wires. 12 to 10 now. The Saints cannot afford a single mistake. More tactical loss. My behind as now. Everything is even in every respect. Economy especially. This is a volatile game of thighs, and anyone can take this away. The Saints are down in money, in fact. They're strapping for cash. They're having to sacrifice their armor for the little bit of util and offense. And now the nerves are setting in. It's overtime or bust. They need to win two rounds in a row here, or that entire streak was all for naught. But Barbosa starting things off hot. Oh, and he's going to escape that unescapable situation coming around. Getting the kill. Unbelievable. Barbosa is a monster. And now it's a 5v3, 4v3 situation for the Saints. Sushi flash spraying down. Everybody's flash but Sushi, he's alive. He's awake. He's ready to get the kills. The Saints are taking this site. They don't want this going over to Northeastern University. Barbosa edging around the corner playing it slow. Waiting for his teammate. They're waiting. Communicating everything on this play. Yes! Barbosa finds it. The Saints are one more away from taking us to an overtime. Ladies and gentlemen, I can barely contain myself. I can't contain myself either. I I am foaming at the mouth, waiting to see how this once ends up. 
we are here at a potential overtime situation. The Saints have the advantage in the terms of Arsenal, in terms of ultimates. Everything is in their wheelhouse, but we cannot give it to them yet. We've seen these teams lose crazy leads before. This is such a volatile game. People, when they're put into the corner, find some way out. The Saints need to press the advantage here now more than ever. These teams are fighting for first place in their divisions right now, both undefeated in their runs. The Saints want to take this 2-0. Northeastern want to fight desperately for a game three. And if you look at the mini map, you can see all the fight. But look at this, the, the alts. The Saints have three. Northeastern with none. But they're not the alts that you want to bank a round on just to kill Joy realistically is going to allow them to really clinch the round. But if Barbosa goes down, that advantage is all gone. And he's the only one on A. Northeastern University, they're pushing up. There's so many alarms and sentries down here. But if he goes down, he it's all for nothing. Ultimate. He fouls the information, running away for his life. He's going to escape. The Saints keeping up their valuable asset. And he's in a really good spot for the Killjoy if he wants to drop it right now. But he's waiting for his teammates to get here. Gub. There it is. There it is. They drop it. It's going to be used. They're going to have this advantage. At the very least, they're going to force Northeastern to take it down. They're forcing him off the site. Now, the Saints just have to make something happen here. Burberry's getting taken out by Sushi as he tries to get too aggressive. And they're running in. Sushi looking for the spike. Too detained. Can they make this work? Sushi, the they're site's looking. clear. The site's clear. They know for it. There it He's sliding in. Wombat with the defuse. Casual's come taking out Barbosa from behind. The Saints just need a couple more seconds. Gub. Moving there it down. Is. It's an overtime for the Saints. Massacring them. Only losing one. And here we are. A statement has been made. You can do it. We can do it better. All right, let's calm down. Calm down, everybody. Right, we're here. I'm it's not over yet. They have not won just I'm yet. Good. They've made it all the way here, yeah. though. From 10 to 5 to 12 to 12. Yep. We are here in the overtime. Woo. Victory is within sight. You cannot relax just yet. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. The Saints now on the attack. Oh. Fully buying out. Kitted out. You have to temper the nerves. Calm down. Yeah, we saw them. Uh, <laughs> they're all just calm, sitting, looking straight, straight ahead. Because... Anything else is not an option. No. Business as usual. Two rounds. This is a two rounds is all that stands between you and victory. One on offense, one on the defense. Only one who has mastery of both mm -hmm. will be the victors here today. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> it's games like this, it's moments like this, where the first kill is really scary. <laughs> it's Halloween tomorrow, so I don't know. Spooky. I'm especially scared. I don't know if I'm going to get jump scared if Foxy is going to burst through the garage doors and <laughs> scream at me. I don't know. But Sushi holding things down. Everyone's calm. Jello. They're, they're, they love their little jumps. It's just gathering information. Nobody has been found by anybody yet. Not even a scratch on a single agent here. And we're just about to reach the minute mark. One minute remaining in this round. Darm, in a very precarious position, could find a lot of value if he plays his cards right. The Saints looking to get aggressive over on A. They leave the spike behind just in case. They don't want a repeat situation that Northeastern had just a few rounds ago. Mid and Garage. These are going to be the hot spots. Darm sitting there, right there, waiting for anyone to test them. Saints going to do no such thing. Time is ticking. I mean, 35 seconds left isn't a lot of time to execute a plan. You can only stand still for so long. I mean, Northeastern loving this. They don't feel any stress right now. They can run out the clock as much as they want. And here it is. Sushi's moving in, has the walls up, goes in, dodges in, gets paranoid. Things are absolute chaos. Casual scrub finding one through all the chaos. And there's Sushi finding the pick. There's a good trade out. 14 seconds left. They need to get the plant down on the ground. They don't have it with them on the site. Darn and Burber getting one. So it needs to clear the site here. They could win off of kills. There's only one left, but it's not going to be it. And now, this is it. This is do or die for the Saints. This is, this is, this is, this is it. This is, this is it. This, this is, is it. it. This is it. The Saints back against the wall. All the screaming would have been for nothing if they lose here. This is a game of tug of war. I mean, if they branch to bring this one back, they still need to win one more. You need to win two subsequent rounds. You cannot just win one or the other, but we know that Saints have mastery over this defensive half. They've mm -hmm. flexed their muscles. We got to see them do it once again and stay consistent. Yeah, for sure. Sushi wanting to just get aggressive, see if you can find any information, see if you can find anybody rotating through this pit. Not going to find a single one, but a lot of util was utilized to just make it so much more dangerous for him to commit. Flash is coming through, spraying through that smoke. 
I don't even know how he's doing this. This is, this is just so nerve-wracking. This is absolutely nerve-wracking. Blood pressure is high. 100%. The tension is palpable here. They've got them locked down. You can definitely tell both teams are paralyzed at the thought of overcommitting oh. here. But Sushi is not. Sushi is itching at the trigger here. How he has to be playing Neon. He is knowing what the strong suit of his agent is, and he's playing it perfectly. Just not able to find anybody, unfortunately. But the drone's coming around. Can he find it before they can get any information? Yes. No, wait. No, he didn't find it. No, no. But Burberry, using the dash lane, Sushi, gonna be stuck. patient. Patient planted. We're gonna see a lot of you to a lot of glowing people. They know where they are. Saints, 40 seconds remaining for Northeastern University to get the plant. That was a whole nothing burger over on East site. A lot of things were committed. Nobody flinched. Nobody batted an eye. But now they're about to meet Gub once again, the holder, the defender of Seasite. And he sees them coming. That's going to be the call. Everybody's here. Everybody's waiting. The TP is coming through. Not quite, but still, he is going to be playing as if. But with the Odin, can he get the flank? No, Barbosa gets one. But damn, finding one more for his teammate. The spike carrier is down. Barbosa with the Odin holding this game open for his team. Sushi taking down. One more through the door. We're going to see the slide with the Neon coming out of the corner. One that's taking him down. It's a two to one situation. But Casual Scrub not going to be able to find the spike plant in just one second. Defenders win off of a timeout. Oh my, oh my God. It's going to come down to another overtime. Double overtime. I can't believe it, Daniil. This is absolutely brutal. This is 13 to 13. We're already mm. one round each. The same. Saints need to win this one to try and bring it home. The attack is difficult no matter what side you're on. If you're on Northeastern or the Saints, it's so difficult to find some way to break through. But this is it. You need to break through now more than ever. And with an Odin being committed, this is going to be absolutely scary. Yeah, Arka confident in the defense. Sushi very confident in the offense. Unstoppable force means an immovable object. Both of them are just going to walk away. We're not going to get to see that clash happen as we're going to see the Saints instead choose to once again play comfortably on the back. Neither team wants to overcommit. I would love to see the Saints throw cautions to the wind and run it down, but I want to see them win more than that. So I'm going to trust them to make whatever plays they feel necessary. Barbosa getting real really adventurous and exploratory over here in this garage casual scrub doing very much the same trying to find any information smoke's gonna go up the drone is not gonna spot him i don't think as jello still sitting here waiting for a play actually no i think it is spot him. barbosa finding casual scrub as he escapes however great play from the saints now this game is blown wide open we're seeing a lot more kills barbosa taken out by darn that's a huge player gone for the saints both teams missing a lot of utility saints 45 left smoke's gonna go up on heaven allowing sushi to sit Comfortably here. Spike is going to be in Gub's arms, however, as he's going to go up to heaven. Smoke is there, so he's going to be forced to rotate as Gub looking for the plant. He's going to find it now as the spike is finally going to go down. He's going to take a little bit of damage for it. However, Arka sitting up here in heaven, not going to be able to move a muscle. Sushi holding down this angle, and it's critical that he doesn't get any distractions his way as now the utils fly. It's going through, but Sushi going to get his mat, mat, mat by Bearberry as he goes through. Sushi and Jell taking down Darm. Wombat taking out one more Burberry, oh wiping out gosh. the rest of the Saints. Arka blowing this game open as he's going to go for the defuse. Saints just need one more round to take it to a triple OT. Yeah, this is it. Once again, the Saints are backed into a corner. And when that happens, you have no idea what will transpire. I mean, can you keep this up? How much energy do you have left in your system? I mean, the defense, while it is the more advantageous position from what we've seen, it is still one heck of a task when you're playing teams of this caliber. Yeah, these teams. Wow. For a mysterious team that, these, that our team didn't know much about going in, I hope this serves as a reminder that anybody can be surprising and give you a run for your money. Darm, ready for the smoked Saints on the defense now. Can they get in? It's only a matter of time. I can see people watching this game through the window. People have been standing <laughs> in awe for like 20 minutes just looking at the screen outside watching this game as the Saints battening down the hatches over on A, plugging any holes that may cause their ship to start sinking. Wombat getting one scan. I think he saw the shoulder of the Neon, knowing exactly where they're at at this very moment. 
One minute remaining in this round. Casual scrub creeping up on B. This is valuable information. Not gonna find anybody here to contest him. Dropping the smoke, waiting for anybody to try to answer what he's doing. This His team is realistically just waiting for the information casual scrub can find. Even if he dies, any information that he can get here will be huge. Gonna take down the turret. Arka droning out. Barbosa is gonna find casual scrub, however. That's one down. And they're gonna see all the Saints there. Sitting Jello spraying them down through the dash lane. It's a 2v5. It's brutal. Far from impossible, however. But now it just might wow. be. But no! Jello with the 4K to bring it to a triple overtime. 14 to 14. You don't see this scoreline very often, especially not on a Wednesday night. You do not. This is absolutely. <laughs> electric gear. I cannot believe my eyes. This is no one expected this match to be as even as it is. I, I mean, it looked so one-sided. Just look at that scoreline. It's so back and forth, tit for tat. I mean, the overtime is just proof of that. And now the Saints, oh they God. need to need to try and win this one. You know they can win the defense. They just need to win one of these offensive rounds. Burberry. God, I like what do you even say right now? We're back in overtime again. The Saints on the attacking side. They if they can blow open this attacking phase, it would be huge for them because both teams have had success on the defense. But if they could change things up. Buck up already finding the plant. He's in danger though. Force off Jello taking down Darm. Natex taking down Gub, however. They're missing their beloved coach, but at least now he can dial in and give them the instructions that they need to hear. I'm surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if he's doing the Sasuke pose, clenched over his desk and just dictating commands. He's fully locked in. Walk wow. back, spraying through with the Odin, taking this down. Three to four now. Spike is ready to go, but Casual Scope taking down Barbosa. It's three to three yet again, even in in the triple <laughs> overtime, they're still making it one for one, tit for tat, closer by every single kill. Nothing. They don't want any kind of lead being established by anybody. Wombat still holding down this angle very well. Sushi taking out Burberry, dashing in, looking for the slide, not finding no. the kill. Arka still alive and well, but Jello taking out as a 1v1. 1v1. Casual scrub solo, the flash coming around. Jello, you no! can't. Unbelievable. Jello, six damage was all he needed to get the kill and here we are again and the Saints need to get the defense in order to stay in this match. I don't know what I am seeing here. This is absolutely nerve-wracking. Just watching it, let alone playing it, I don't know how the players are withstanding this nerve damage I am feeling. This is psychic damage taking place, but they have to hope that they are are ready for it and i mean they have to be there's no other choice they have to lock in they have to either clutch up get another defense or accept that all of this fighting was for nothing it's, but that's a very bitter pill to swallow and i wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy so i'm praying the saints can make something happen here casual scrub he's gonna try to take down one before he goes down himself arcos gonna find the spike plant over on c and now this is looking a lot scarier for the saints they have every man that they need but to get this retake would be hard they see two but they don't see the two behind the box or so, yeah they just have to go in by faith barbosa coming from behind finding two sushi finding one on the other side of the map sushi now oh my god it's a 3v1 situation but he's still up Wombat taking him down. It's another reset. It's another reset. <laughs> it is another reset. And we're back in it resetting. I feel like I'm caught in some sort of time loop here where we are absolutely at a deadlock. There's no way to break this one. <laughs> and now the Saints are just stuck in this infinite loop. They need I like to this. find some way to exit the simulation. I much prefer them starting on attack because it's a lot less scary because, again, this is the positive, okay? They have a 100% defense rate. Both teams do. Exactly. It's the attack. It's whoever gets that attack first. Exactly. And the Saints <laughs> are getting the first chance every time. Again, I'm still seeing people standing at the screen in awe, and I don't blame them for a second. Sushi looking to break things open, stuck in a shroud of 
dusk clouds. It's just a matter of time before they look for opportunity. I really respect the play they're going for in the previous round where they went on B instead of A. A was like the favorite spot for everybody every single time. Too much util spots on C. B is risky to play, but it's 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 a lot it's more. The gambit. Yeah, it's the gambit. Can you make it work? There's three over here. If you can find one, Barbosa almost getting a game ending kill on to this Neon Burberry doing so much work to keep Northeastern University in this game. Once again, both teams though, because this is so nerve wracking, because he fought so hard, the aim is starting to waver. You can uh, go for these mm -hmm. off the cuff plays and they end up burning a lot of the time, leaving them to have no other choice than to just run and try and make something work. Yeah, time is going down. 45 seconds for the Saints to make a play. Smoke is going to go up. This is going to allow them to get closer, but they don't know what's happening on the other side. Do they even want to know? It's 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 the Schrodinger's cat issue. It's better to not know sometimes because that allows you to live in two states, winning and losing this game simultaneously. Saints opting to go over to A, however. There's still two over there, but I think... The cat is out of the bag, and whether it's alive or dead, we're about to find out with 15 seconds left on the clock. Sushi spraying down this alleyway. Gub going for the plant. This time, he's going to stick it. It's now on Northeastern University to find their way back onto the site. If Barbosa peeks right now, he could get a kill. Oh my gosh, no, he just barely missed it. But back to the action here on site A. Barbosa <gasps> finds the second straggler, putting his team at the advantage. The flashes are coming out, though. The chaos is ensuing. Burberry guy finding that slide pick, as they always do. They're on the site. Completely, the they Saints are off of it 100%. They have to find their way back on using the util jello force them off. He found a kill with that, but Burberry getting the return kill. Wombat taking out one more six HP on Barbosa. Will this be the revenge? It's a 2v2 situation. Burberry finding the laser kill to one on one sushi. If you have anyone you want it to be him, can you make it happen? Yes, yes you can. 2 HP. Yes, you can. 2 HP to keep you in the game, and it's looking up for them. Look at that streak of back and <laughs> forth. You actually can't see it. You they don't can. bother letting you see you it. We'll see it at the end. We'll see it at the end. But wow, this is it. You need to win this defense. You cannot rest just yet. After such a hard fought attack, you need to win this. You have to. You have no other choice. You got, you got the hard part done, but there's still the even harder part of closing it out. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I just want to watch what happens. Gub. Wow, so this is crazy. Can you make it happen? Barbosa is going to find the kill on the Burberry. It's an open shot. They're shot in the kneecap. It's completely difficult. It's a huge burden for them to try in this round. But Northeastern University have to press on regardless. Make a mile journey. But they find Barbosa through the wall. Revenge for their fallen comrade. The Saints holding on seats. Just sushi over here. But can hey, this turn? Into more wow. sushi. It's a trade at the same time. Three to three. Still, Arkov finding Gub. Two to three now. Saints, they are looking desperate. We've never seen them this shaky on the defense. The spike is going down, Matthias. This Thanks. is unbelievable. Oh my god, things are dwindling here. Spike is planted. Sushi got so much this game. He wants to be on the top of the leaderboard, but he also wants to be top on his team. Sarge oh, runs one through the wall. Second kill for the round, going back in here, playing ring around the rose. He trying to get redemption for that one last game, going with the shotgun, misses the entire pellet spread. And now it's just Wombat here for the clutch time is ticking. And there's an ultimate keeping them at bay. There's no chance of getting through here. It'd have to be an absolute miracle for Wombat to break through. The babies oh on both sides, everything going time ticking. He's one bullet. There's smoke. There's no chance the shot no gets there. Way. He had one bullet in his clip. If he had just a little bit more, he could have made something happen there. He knew exactly where he was, but stuck between a rock and a hard place. You can't reload. You can't switch to your other gun. He had to make a choice, and the choice, there was no good one. We're back to another reset. Unbelievably so. Both of these teams have demonstrated their ability to win on attack, but... Wow! Like what? <laughs> we got to we got to take a step back here. We get 16 to 16. The Saints back on the attack. This is looking. This is looking dire. This is not looking great. But you know they have some time here. Mm -hmm. They're back yeah, at an yeah. even spot. They're not losing. They're even. They just need to get themselves back into the advantage state. Yeah, it's. It's rough. This is, this is this is truly unpredictable. I really hope we can see the Saints clutch up another attack because to win one and then lose the only defense you've lost, 
I think it would look really bad. Dare I say it might even spell the end of this overtime spree. Saints desperate to find an opening. It's now or never. They're going in. They recognize it's open. Nobody's here to contest. Get the spike planted. They're going for it. They're frantic. They recognize it and they're stealing it's it. Down. It's completely down. Not a bullet exchange between the teams. Arcot taking a bit of damage now. He hit himself. He... Oh, wow. I didn't even know that was possible. That's they're wavering. Saying. They're losing it. Things are not looking good on both sides. You can tell they're getting drained from an absolute sl slugfest. This has yeah. been back and forth. Three to left and right. Arkov, one of the star players, oh going to be taken down by Sushi. Oh, but Burberry taking out Wombat. Jello getting the revenge kill on the uh, casual scrub. Burberry taking out Sushi. However, Flash coming through, Jello allowing to stay in this fight just a little bit longer, but Natex taking him out. Gub with Barbosa. Never mind, it's just Gub alone has to hold it down against these attackers. Coming through, finding one. Smoke's dissipating. He's almost taking them down, but unfortunately, they're going to lose the round. It's devastating. They lost the attack. They just have one more defense holding them away from losing this game. There was two seconds left for the spike. Two seconds left, and now you have to win the defense. You've had such a successful series Timeout's defensive called. round. Timeout being called. <laughs> things are flying. We're throwing things here. I know <laughs> things are coming off. The doors are flying off the hinges yeah. here. Everybody's starting to lose it. You can definitely tell the mental strain of playing so much Valorant. I mean, there's only so much you can play of any game. There's so much you can play giving it your all, giving it 100%. You start to run out of gas. Your, your aim starts to wane. Your mental starts to wane. You start feeling bad you start getting a headache things are not looking good and folks this is only game two mm. if somehow <laughs> i'm not even gonna say if somehow if the saints don't win this we're going to a, another one which could then go to another overtime if things are gonna keep up how they are yeah i wow that is possible isn't it in any case ladies and gentlemen we are basically halfway through an entire other game. We and are. It's just overtime. We are. It's just overtime, the back and forth. These, both of these teams have gone on incredible streaks, but right now they're trading back and forth, one after the other. The Saints now back against the wall one more time. I'm going to call it right now. This is the one more time. I don't think we're getting another reset after this. It's, it's either the Saints lose here or they win in the next. I think that's just how it's going to have to happen. I, I'm right there with you, Daniil. I think either they win it right here, take it all the way, or this is going to be under the line for game two. Yeah, and with this start, seeing how it is right now, not a lot of information revealed by either team. Just playing things slow. Saints especially careful, knowing that their game is on the line right now. Northeastern University looking for any kind of advantage, any kind of exploit. Gub smoking up mid before they even have a chance to get there. So they don't know where he is either. Unless if they saw him shoot it, they would at least have a general guess of the angle of where he might be, but they're not even going to get that much. Saints, look at where they're positioned. Completely perfect between B and A, knowing that B is very favorable right now for these split-second last hesitant plays. 55 on the clock. Northeastern University, they are stone cold, not even moving in an inch right now, playing so disciplined. Barbosa doing much the same. It's his specialty. The most disciplined player on this team, I think. And now they spotted each other. They know where the action's at. B sites where you're Gonna want to be for this gunfight. 35 on the clock. Rotations coming out. Going over to see. Tam is clearing. Getting out of dodge. Doesn't want to get caught up. But Sushi's found by Casual Scrub on the other side of the map here. Dash lane is up. Uh oh, ladies and gentlemen, it seems to be the case. Northeastern gonna find it, but Gub interfering, spraying them down. Natex gonna get the replant, knocking all out. A silly omen to interfere with their plans for much longer. Barbosa sitting in the garage. It's a 4v5. The Saints. So much against them here. They don't have time to spare. I mean, they need to get on the site and they need to get there quick. They need to play a little bit more confidently here. The flash comes through. You can tell the nerves are setting in. Oh my Burberry God! Playing perfectly, but Saints playing a little bit better. Trades left and right, and that's going to be it. Northeastern, after such a long, hard fought game. They Saints lose. They brought it back all the way from 10 to 5 to. 18 to 16. They could not close it at the end. <laughs> Academy team. But Unbelievable. What a game. Unbelievable.
I have no words except for that last play there. Like they had the yeah. Jello was flash, and then the the the, the the the, the neon disaster. was spraying him down, and then the neon got flashed, and then Jello There's... almost killed him. But he went behind the wall, and then the neon shot him through the wall in the head. How, ladies and gentlemen, that was game two. Hopefully, game three won't be as exciting. Yeah, <laughs> we're I'm all like... we're all gonna take a a break here. We need to after yeah. that. Wow. And we're we're just speechless here. Like, what more can be said? The Saints fought hard and well. It's all been said. But it's not over yet. Be right back after a break for Game 3.
ladies and gentlemen. It's been a long time coming. Here we are, last map of the day, guaranteed. Okay, we didn't know before, but now we know for sure. This is the last map we're gonna be seeing of the night. I dare not check what time it is, for I fear the result may shock me. And as my co-commentator joins me, yep. he is letting this time sink in as well. It's 9.30 everybody <gasps> at night. And we're gonna be here on Split, one of the first maps in Valorant ever released, a classic one for the ages. Much like that last map will be a classic uh. for the ages in the history books, but mm -hmm. no one will remember what the outcome of that match was. They'll only remember who was victorious here on this final map. And that is what the Saints want to prove. They are going with a classic lineup. We got Sushi on the Rays. We have Wombat on the Sky. We have Gub on Omen. Jello on Viper. And we're going I like back to see that. in time. And Barbosa on the Jet. To simpler times. Simpler times, ladies and gentlemen, as we might get into unprecedented territory. We saw some... Quite frankly, unbelievable things. That was, yeah, that in was unspeakable game. things. Wow. Everybody in the Nexus right now is looks like they saw a ghost. Quite literally, <laughs> when we when we went outside and looked around, everybody it looked like they just got shell shocked, and I'm quite shell shocked, ladies and gentlemen. As we get into this game, the reality is hitting me like a truck. We're here for another potential quintuple overtime or whether or not we live to see that moment this is the final game between St. Clair College and Northeastern University for the NACE Varsity Plus Division both these teams undefeated 4-0 someone's walking away winner yeah and it's here decided on split the final game is here split splitting the wheat from the chaff much like these players the strong will be split from the weak and we will see who remains and uh speaking of splitting the weak from the strong maybe sushi's computer not as strong as we were hoping as his computer has crashed oh no <laughs> leading us to a tech pause as these players locking in they had a team huddle before this game they were just talking about everything they just went through, talking about what they liked, what they didn't like, what they could do better, what they couldn't do anything about, just letting it all out as a team. Like I said, the vibes here are so important. They're, they're you know, some may say this team doesn't feel like a team. It feels like a family. This isn't the academy, varsity. Doesn't matter. This is a family. It's a brotherhood. Exactly. <laughs> there are form. two brothers on there. Quite literally. Almost almost there. They could form a coup and just like if they do votes, they could just like vote in tandem. They could get their parents to adopt like three more people. <laughs> <laughs> Have a full monopoly. Yep. It wouldn't really be worth it at all. <laughs> no. Changing the lives of three people. Well, well, many more. Changing the lives of so many people just to say you have a team of all of siblings. True. That'd be great though. Good content for the ad lab. Like content if, house. If I saw that on like my phone, I'd be like, <laughs> five brothers are on a Valorant team. And you're like, oh, they're actually brothers? Like, no. No. <laughs> like, oh, okay. So a little bit wasted effort, but the effort's there nonetheless. You can see a lot of effort. We can see Austin locking in there, lasering, focused up. He's uh, hey, hey, yeah, let's go, let's go, yeah. That's what he's saying to himself, I'm sure. Tam, Gub, coach, master of the team. You can see the somber look on his face. He knows what's about to happen as they get into another pistol round that the Saints have yet to find success in. Darm, leaping in. This is the dog. I was does a darn good job with that dog, but Darm, gang it. Dang it, <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna get the spike planted by Darm over on A. Immediately planted Barbosa and the squad rotating their way over. It's gonna be a cluster, cluster fight. All of them in groups. Natex behind the Saints, however. Coming around, finding one. Almost finding two, but Barbosa gonna take him down before he could do any more damage. Trading one for one here. Jello 
Oh my god, gonna go down before he can get the poison out. Darm looking for some cross map shots. Barbosa falling. Astra deadly. And the rest of Eastern, what Northeastern University taking down the rest of the Saints. It's 1 0. This is very precedented. The opposite of unprecedented. This is exactly what we were expecting to see as the Saints have yet to win a pistol round. But the round after, that's interesting for us to look at. That is quite interesting indeed. The Saints not. Not pistol shooters. They're not cowboys out there. They can't shoot with the best of the best, but you know what they can do? They can shoot best of the best on the next round. They like being at disadvantage. They like the element of surprise on their side. And I'm not very surprised to hear that this team is underdogs in many essences of the word. Burberry getting a nice value assist with the team. Sushi taking down a good kill on Burberry. Casual scrub rotating around this corner. Jello finding the kill on Arca. Another four. Jello double. Gub swinging around, finding the headshot. Barbosa and Gub. The Duo from hell, look at him bugging out. He's loving it. This team, they're electric. You see, you know the, the, a team is on lock when two players are yelling in sync. Him and Jordan on the end were both shouting, like, like they're shouting the exact same thing, slamming their desks in sync. That's kind of ominous, no? Yeah, that's weird. That's weird, man. I don't know, maybe we gotta check that out. <laughs> Scan their <laughs> brains. <laughs> I don't know, that's scary, I'm getting. Uh, no, nevertheless, I didn't see them go out into the field this time for a four-leaf clover. I think they're not relying on luck. They're relying on pure skill. Oh, that. they went out to the field. They weren't looking for four-leaf clovers, though. They were doing something else over there. But whatever that was, let's hope it finds them some success. Jello, claw arm ready to spray anything on unsuspecting foes. And he's going to douse them, but finding the kill. Jello cleaning it up. Sushi following very much. Shortly after, brothers in arms literally here. They're working together to get the job done. Gub, headshot, so good. He had his crosshair there, just <laughs> waiting for it. The game knowledge of the veteran Jello taking out Darm. Two of them going down. Sushi cleaning it up, two to one now. This is looking like the Saints that we know and love. This is looking to be it. You know, this match on split, it's, it's much smaller than the Haven. We're, gonna, we're not going to have those rounds where we're just waiting around no. for a minute and no. a half. This is going to be decided very quickly, and it's looking like the Saints are having a good run of it so far. And they're having such a good run, in fact, of Barbosa, so confident to buy an op. I just want to make a statement here, okay? Maybe this is a little TMI, but I had a friend say that while he was in the bathroom, he heard the players shouting from the stage. That is quite the distance. <laughs> this is how invested these players are in the outcome of this match. Not even the outcome, the journey itself. How are these teams playing so close right now? Two to one, and I'm excited to see it's two to one. Like, this is new to me. For once, <laughs> for once, we're not going back and forth. <laughs> Yeah, what? this is a breath of fresh air, a breath of freedom to just see that the sky is open. The limits are not put in place just yet. We have a chance to get some momentum here. Mm -hmm. Build momentum. And well, I was going to say it really matters a lot, but we can see definitely both teams went on pretty sense of streaks in the last game, and it didn't matter for anything because it went to like a quintuple overtime, but still, that's the pass. We're seeing Wombat in the present fight and clean kill with Barbosa lining up for the second. The dog is not going to get any value here. If only here. he knew. If only he knew, but he couldn't. There's no way he could have. It's Barbosa in such a perfect position with the operator to be lethal and effective. Three to five here for Northeastern University. They have to to do anything to get an advantage, but Gub, again, I know that was a crosshair placement difference there. Gub with the perfect kill to get things under control. Even more Arkov, 41 HP. It's just him and his teammate looking for any kind of opportunity. Even a spike plant would be huge. That's money in the pocket. You'll take anything you can get at this point. Can they find it? That is the question on everyone's mind right now. Can you find it? Can you make something work left. here? Jello. Going on a little adventure here, watching every possible Let's angle. And is this going to be a save around from Northeastern? I respect that. Neither team was really doing that in the last no. two matches. And this is unprecedented. This is a new variable. Unprecedented moment right here. We've never seen this before in the history of Saints versus Northeastern 2024. Our analysts don't know what this could mean. The, the, the stats are ruined. We had the prediction already. The Saints were going to win by a landslide, but now 
things I think we have to recalculate everything. This yeah. could this could either swing things even more so in the Saints' favor, or this could completely bust their plan wide open. It's it's all up in the air. We're seeing sheriffs be committed on every other player that has not saved their weapon. Nidex does have that cipher ultimate though, so if they can find an opening pick, maybe they can get a little bit more info, but no! That's gonna be shut down right away. Yeah, wow, I'm 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 just still recovering from that complete game changer of the save. We have to redo all our simulations. It's just it's ruined all that processing time wasted. But ladies and gentlemen, as we get back into this round, we're seeing Northeastern University looking to play him from mid as usual. It's not letting them through, however. Jello is so deadly on this angle. Hasn't let a single person through yet. Sushi. No such luck, however, from behind. They didn't spot him. Grenades coming out, holding them from the back. No retreat is an option. Wombat quartering through Sushi, pushing through that corner, taking down one, but Burberry taking out Sushi in response. Casual scrub, last one standing in. That's going to be Gubba once again. I don't know how many times we've got to say it, but the crosshair placement is on point. Like a laser beam, like a turret, like a tripwire almost. Ready to strike a Claymore mine that is set in this one position. Just ready to hit the trigger and hit that head. Well said, well said. As we get into this next round, potentially. It's it's just, there's so many factors, there's so many variables. We're, we're leading 4-1, but honestly, my thoughts, I can't say I care. I know what these teams are capable of doing. <laughs> and the leads, the streaks, the everything. I can't know how this game is going to go until we're at 12 to something. Until one team is at 12. I'm not going to get comfortable in making any kind of assumptions. And even then, who knows? The Saints had a strong climb back. And so did Northeastern in game one. It's so weird. Sushi is going to find a headshot. That's not weird at all. Wombat the showstopper. flying through the sky, getting a double Sushi, hitting the ground a hero with a triple kill and the cleanup from the team. Thumbs up from Tyler. Oh, he's screaming. Oh, he loves this game so far. Five to one. They're living their lives free. That showstopper was absolute cinema. I cannot say anything Cinema. else that was perfect Aww. up there in the sky shot out of the sky even the post-mortem saving the team and everyone there ready to clean up the mess he left that's of the enemy team that's like something you'd see in halo <laughs> oh, wow, there's a halo clip right there <laughs> not in valorant <laughs> but in any case ladies and gentlemen classic fps is a side wow halo is a classic isn't it It still feels new to me <laughs> damn i need to play some halo <laughs> tonight in any case we're seeing barbosa with the operator this is nothing new it even exists in halo barbosa taking down that kill smoke is up jello nowhere to be found he's pleading in greener pastures he's making those pastures greener with his poisons as well a little bit more flexible this time around sushi getting into an antagonistic position Here. wanting to get something down barbosa not gonna make the yolo shot sushi finding darm off the side of the map not gonna find that shot casual scrub taking down barbosa operator in the hands of this astra shortly Surely, indeed, Sushi ready for it, eliminating the competition off the elevator there. And Sushi, getting the info with the dog, decides to go all in, it gets the trade. Jello cleaning up the dynamic duo, the brothers in arms, quite literally taking out the competition. It's 6-1. The Saints have won the quarter, and it's not looking like it's going to stop. I wonder if this is like an experience difference on this map. It feels like... Well, I'll say this much. The Saints said they're not comfortable on this map at all. This is this is another map that's not very gimmicky. Yeah, it's very straightforward, but they're still not comfortable on it. And I wonder if Northeastern feels the same. I, I wouldn't be surprised. There's so many factors that go into success, and map familiarity is just one of them. But it's probably one of the biggest ones, the kind of plays that you can go for, you feel comfortable making. And when you're making a play comfortably versus uncomfortably, there's a huge difference in success well, rate. One thing. I heard when I was on my way back from my little break there um, I heard them talking they said we got them to six I think it was like 16 to 18 on their best map we can do this we can bring this one home and I think that's the motivation they needed they need that confidence going in here after such a hard-fought loss they're still fighting hard for this next win 
but this is the round which is looking a little bit dire, but they're ready for it every single time. It's 3v5. Jello positioning themselves correctly needs to get through. The oh my god! Pass. Shotgun is brutal. Really well done by Northeastern University, eking out the kill there. Not able to walk away with the round, however, the Saints are going to clutch it out in the end. But still, I think that's a really interesting point that you bring up, Matthias. But one thing that really makes me even more nervous and also appreciating the the the, the, the potential this game has is Saints. It was their map game one, obviously. Map two, we can assume it was uh, Northeastern's. Map three is a question mark. Now, I know the Saints said they're really not comfortable on this map, but Northeastern very much could be the same. And in untested territories, this is where you can see a lot of different things happening. And what one of those things is, uh, you know, seven win streak, or maybe we get a reverse. Who knows? It's untreaded territory for both of these teams. And with variables such as saves coming out, <laughs> we've never seen before. Who knows what can happen in this game? Exactly. And once again, the Saints starting things off with a kill, eliminating one of those ultimates. That that's going to ch change the title of the game here. Is whoever uses these ultimates a little bit better. Wow, the showstopper shut down by Sushi. That's oh an ultimate God. off the board and a double kill. And just two more, one more left. It's going to be Arka probably trying to take this up for themselves. Yeah, hold for the round potentially. But I don't think the Saints are going to even want to let them do that. As they're kind of coming through. Oh, they, do they know? Does Archon know that half of the Saints, all of the Saints, are encroaching from behind, coming in from heaven? Ooh, why'd he fake that? Why'd he fake that? He faked that, and it's going to save his life. Jello getting revenge, well, potential revenge. If his brother fell down there, then it would have been revenge. In any case, 8 to 1 now. Timeout coming out for Northeast University. He's feeling himself there. Austin flexing that muscle. <laughs> Knows that they're the big dogs in this game. But we saw what the Saints were able to do after a timeout in one of the previous maps. So who knows? Yeah, these timeouts are lethal Look if up. used correctly but i don't even know if that can stop them at this point i think they're ready for anything they what is the score line now one eight to, to one. eight yeah. absolutely brutal and that's in a row that is just they lost the pistol and now they're just on an unstoppable steam roll. No one can stop this train. It's a trolley problem, except it's five players tied to the enemy's tracks, and there's no other option to pull the lever. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. And you know what's something else that we got to appreciate? Everybody on this team is handsome, okay? You, you, you love to see a group of handsome young guys playing yes. Valorant so excellently. It looks good for our brand that all of our players are good looking, too. Fist bumps all around, and they're getting back. Back into the game after just appreciating some time to themselves. No, no stressful hand clicking. And Northeastern University, I hope they were able to make the most out of that time as well. It's just three rounds left in this half. Saints got four ultimates to work with. They could just spend one around, and honestly, that wouldn't be like a, a, a really bad trade. No, it just makes sense. They can just use their ults however they please. Yeah, they have four. They might as well use them. They're getting them back so quick. There it is. Mid just shut down by Sushi Smart. there. Yeah, really well done. There's literally no reason not to do it, especially off of the timeout. If you oh, want to- Fade ult was wasted oh on the enemy God. team. I think the Saints might just be in their heads completely. Barbosa with a beautiful op shot. They're playing everywhere they need to be. Jello following it up with a beautiful headshot on the rifle. Burberry getting into the corner. Darm backside going for the plant, finding it. Saints now forced to answer. Two alts committed already. No alts remaining. Oh, the, on the blade side. storm is blade online. Storm. You two attack. Oh, no, he's fighting it. Oh! But not even gonna get the kill there. Team's gonna get Doesn't the kill for him. Sushi <laughs> taking him out. Eight to one. Now, sorry, nine to one now in the favor of the Saints. Oh my God. Barbosa may have not gotten the kills tonight, but the pressure that gave the team to be able to just fly in there, keep their eyes on the sky and away from their teammates is absolutely imperative. Nine to one. Do you think the Saints will hit the 11 to one scoreline? That's the question on everyone's mind. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to say one thing one way or the other. I just don't know. 
I don't want to. I don't want to put any hexes or curses on anybody. That's fair. That's fair. But one thing <laughs> I do know is they're going for these guardians, and guardians are always a wild card. If Value. you use them correctly, they are absolute killing machines. Mm -hmm. But in the wrong hands, it might as well be a classic. <laughs> the wrong hands. Do you think there are any wrong hands in this game? I think so. I think there's some wrong hands here. But it's just all about how the hands mental is doing. <laughs> <laughs> the brain in the hands. Exactly. Truly the mastermind. Master hand. And crazy hand. <laughs> and crazy hand. You, got, you got to work with one of them at the end of the day. Those are the wrong hands. Victim, <laughs> crazy hands. The wrong hands yeah. for the job. I think crazy hands is the right job in this round. You need some unpredictable factors. You need something to shake things up. Barbosa with the operator finding so much success already. Mogging that cloud of black with the cloud of green. Completely controlling and dominating it. Forcing it to go into hiding. Jello sitting down. Laying down the bullets through the smoke the hat found it but he found the head of the hat wearer almost taking him out burberry Ooh. finding the headshot for gub guardian in the right hands this time around and i didn't even notice but the saints are actually down in the player advantage three to two right now saints uh Arcot going for the plant Saint, I'm not sure why he's not completing it. Oh, oh no. my god, Natex almost taking down Barbosa from behind, but now things are even. Spike finally going down. Yeah, Spike not going down. Saints are going to have full time to play around this, especially if he can catch Burberry on the rotation around the corner. <gasps> he has to fight a Guardian. That's very Jello. killer. One shot to the head, two shots for him. Jello takes him out. It's a 2v1 situation on this point. Will Saints get the 10 round score? Arkel at full health and full armaments here. Oh! Guardian full loaded, but it's going to be Jello with the 3k. Bringing the Saints to 10 to 1. It reminded me of the score of the second half. What was that? 18 to 16. This is looking nothing like that. Nothing at all, Matthias. Nothing like the previous games we've seen. This is the only time we've seen the Saints on such a tear right out of the get-go. Before, it was always off of a comeback. But here, they're looking strong. They're looking confident. And one can only ask why. They what were, changed? They were tempered in the overtime. They had to, it was like, it was like the hyperbolic time chamber. True. They had to keep going and trading time after time, attacking defense. They mastered both. They took lessons from every single battle. And now this is it. This is to decide if they are going to have an easy half rate here, 11 to one, or if it's going to be 10 to two. Either way, the Saints looking absolutely impeccable. And just like the Cell games, you're not allowed any mistakes. You don't have any Senzu beans in the back line. You can't afford to go down at all. The Saints, if they let off of the gas pedals for even a second, we've already seen what Northeastern University is capable of when everything is on the line. We're in a game three for that very reason, ladies and gentlemen. Casual scrub holding down this angle, but it might not even bear any fruit as the Saints already rotating one step ahead. Jello finding the headshot, gunshots, duels always won out by the Saints. Jumping forward with the showstopper, putting an end to Darm's theatrics. 50 seconds remaining. Northeastern University, a dream in their pocket. They just have to cross the river and get the plant, and it looks like they're gonna go the long way around this time, rotate back over to A, but not even gonna allow that to happen. Natex taking down, Gub taking down, Arca, casual scrub, last man standing for the Saints. TP, Gub is gonna get found as he makes the rotation. 30 seconds remaining, spike in hand, B is gonna be the play, dropping some smokes down to make this a little easier. Gonna get the plant, faking it at the very least, so you can find any heads. Dash through from Barbosa, finding the headshot now. Two more casual scrub. Once again, not living up to the name. First round for Northeastern University since the 10 for the Saints. Yeah, so that's gonna be the swing point from them. It's gonna flip back over Pistol Realm. That's not where the Saints exactly have been excelling. But if they do win this first round and they win the one after that, they will be on match point. That is an easily closable gap. Three rounds is all that it takes for the Saints from now. And they have 10, well, less than that. They have 11, <laughs> they have nine rounds to give over to the enemy team. Math is not math. It is a late night and my brain is scrambled. We've been yelling too much to do math. But one thing I'm scared of, what if Saints win the pistol round? and then lose the round after. Oh, no. a reverse pistol round. And then Northeastern University wins, wins another, and then another. It's not impossible, 
I could see it happening. And I'll, I'll be honest, I'll be so serious right now. I'm actually expecting that. <laughs> I'm, I'm genuinely expecting that to happen. If the Saints get open and kill, I'm just putting my hands up and leaving because that's exactly what's going to happen after this. If the Saints are able to breach this impenetrable pink cloud or purple cloud of doom. It's very pretty, though, at the very least. Oh, the Finally about to dissipate. Yeah, it's gold, purple and gold. Beautiful, Beautiful. color combinations. Royalty, but jello. Being the lone man over on A, as this team starts to make the rotations, they're getting the part of the program. They're getting the message. Barbosa lagging behind tactically, just wanting to do some more damage. Look at the red bars over on Northeastern University. They're not liking the damage that they're taking right now. No, I can tell you that. Don't. Being whittled down slowly but surely, but they get the first pick. Daniil's not leaving the room, but they get this next two. And now it's a 3v4 situation. Northeastern not looking good. They're all dropping like flies in the oh. flank from Barbosa. is absolutely beautiful. Oh Jello getting a 3k. And now the Saints 11 2 Two. I don't like this. You don't like this? You think it's like going to be the opposite? I think I, the opposite. I, I think they're going to be back in the saddle once again. They're going to be sweeping. I don't like this. I don't like this, Matthias. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. You think it bodes ill? <laughs> the omen is ill as hell. <laughs> the omen is coughing up blood right now. That's how ill it is. Okay. Oh, no. That's not looking But the sushi's at the top. Jello right by them. Do you think Sushi will remain at the top? Yeah, of course. He's Tyler. He's he's the guy. If there's one thing he's good at, it's Valorant. And I hope he can hold on to that at the very least in this series, topping the leaderboard. That's Darm now with the dog in hand, spinning fruitfully. If the Saints get caught off guard here, it could be devastating, losing to their own tactics. Barbosa. With the rest of the Saints making the escape into the tunnels. A little damage there. A little bit of damage can spill out into a lot if not careful. Spraying through this cloud. Saints are not relenting. They want to get through here. No other site, no other angle, no other point will do. And as it goes back up, they're beating resistance and they're beating them down. Burberry finding two, but Saints are going to find two in return. Everybody who was in the mid is dead. <laughs> it's just, I believe Gub's like the only survivor. He's leaving, rotating over to A. Now, on the other side of the map, we're seeing casual scrub over on B, forced to make the rotation over to A now. With 30 on the clock, the Saints are close to getting the spike plant, but Northeastern University is still in this fight. Yeah, and it's the site that's going to be the toughest site to crack. You know, there's so much util, so much coverage, and that's not going to be too hard for the Saints, so they barrel on through. The last player remaining on the side of Northeastern has no health to speak of. Wombat getting the plant 11 health in a dream. That's going to be it. One bullet spilling doom. 12 to 2, Daniil. Are you tactical, a believer yet? Tactical ca uh, caster curse. Had to say it. <laughs> but it could come to bite me in the butt now. Saints one away from winning the game. Saints went on 10 in a row, Matthias. Tell me how many Northeastern University needs to go on to tie this game. 10. 10 in a row. You're right. It's possible. It's possible. We've seen it before. They've matched each other's streaks. Forget matching You're freak. Right. Okay, I don't care about matching freak. <laughs> I want to see streaks being matched. And they've been doing it so far. This could be the last streak they need to match. But no one can match the Saints' peak. Let's see Ooh. them bring it to the top. Oh, my God. What a word, Smith. Ca crafting a sword for the slaying of the gods of old. Sushi and Barbosa with Gub from the behind taking down uh, Burberry. They don't like that guy. Arkra taking them down through the cloud of smoke. Jello losing uh -oh. the gunfight to Natex. This is actually a big opening. The Saints no longer having that valuable smoke line available for them to control. Swinging those kunais like their nunchucks. Gub, a lethal warrior, sheriff in hand, waiting for anybody that dares come through the garage. Saints rotating their way over to A-Site, just killing all the util <laughs> that <laughs> Northeastern University dare throw at them. Yeah, the Saints no longer having the person advantage here. are going to have a tough job climbing back from this one. But it looks like A has been all but abandoned by any everyone but the Cypher. The Cypher on the back line here with the Guardian playing very carefully, very far back. Has a tripwire up front, has a camera up there. 
Where do you peek, though, if you're Nate X? Yeah, but there is no right answer. He just takes a lot of shots to the gut, and he's forced to endure as the spike carrier actually is going to go down. He's facing a little bit of trouble, but they're just completely devastating. Arka, it's a 2v3 situation. Saints, a lot of red on their health bars. It's so close. Northeastern University fought so long, so hard. Going down here would be devastating. They still have this game in their hands. They don't want to let it slip. Sushi with his teammates. Oh my god, Casual Scrub coming from behind. He's not going to go down yet. Rotate through, but they're going to find Trade. one. It's just Casual Scrub. It's 1v2. Can he make this happen? Reloading with the Stinger. You have to commit. Time is running out. Something has to be done. He's going to make the swing. Coming around, oh, but they're going to get the kill. The Saints win the series 2-1 over Northeastern University, remaining undefeated in their next varsity plus run against their opponents who match their record. Now Saints 5-0, Northeastern University 4-2, but no one can walk away from this series saying it wasn't hard fought. That was one of the most hard fought Valorant games I've ever seen. Yeah. That was an absolute <laughs> masterclass of a game from everybody. Northeastern gave them one heck of a run down in that second game. First game as well was very close, mm -hmm. but in the third game after being tempered in the overtime having to play so many sequential rounds over and over felt like it was just one game but it felt like two games to us there's like four chapters of this <laughs> yeah. game and ladies and gentlemen we could talk about this match forever but there's nobody better to talk about this game than those who had to endure it ladies and gentlemen we're gonna have the honors of having an interview set up for you right after they just escaped the frying pan and now they're into the fire sure they can play the game but can they handle the heat of the desk can they talk the talk <laughs> <laughs> they walk the walk. Can exactly. they talk the talk? <laughs> I'm going to find out after a quick break. We'll be seeing you guys with an interview very soon.
Ladies and gentlemen, oh, I can. Oh, I gotta shield my eyes. I got like three stars in front of me. It's the sun, the moon, and the sun's like sun. It's like three suns in front of me. I don't know where I was going with that, but ladies and gentlemen, we have, in respective order, we have Gub, we have Wombat, we have Jello. Gentlemen, talk to me. What's up? <laughs> that game. I told you, we always put on a show. He's not lying. I it's always stressful. believe him. I can only imagine how stressful that series was. I'm going to get the elephant out of the room. Not over time. Guys, I want to know, what are what you guys even saying to each other? What, what can you say to Hon each other in a situation Honestly, like that? when we started on attack, we, like, we started off pretty slow, but then I got to read how they were playing. They were just playing really far back and let us take the site. Mm. So we're trying to work the map a little bit more, but I don't know, in the end, we kind of crumbled a little bit. There's some things we need to work on. A little post plants, but it doesn't matter. We got the win at the end of the day. Well, that's the coach's tank. You guys are in the in the mud, <laughs> slinging it, and you guys are yeah, rolling was... around in there in the dirt. Like, tell me, how how did it feel for you guys? That was rough. I mean, that team, they're four and zero in our bracket. That fight was for like first place, like mm -hmm. in the bracket, I guess, right? So, and that was their map pick. So, the fact we took it to six, five times OT, pretty proud of that. I think, you know, we were pretty we we're pretty sad after it. You know, we're pretty bummed, but you know, we uh, we had to be happy about what what we did, and we went to the third map and. Did what we did there and got it done. So I don't know. I think we did good. You know, they they were, they were a pretty good team, but we came with the win. So that's I good. couldn't have said it better myself. But I know someone who might be able to say it better than both of us combined. Jordan, I saw. I feel like most situations in all three games that were scary, shocking, entertaining. You were there, involved in one way or another. That series as a whole, but especially that game two. That what of a sex tuple overtime scenario, just. I want to hear it from your brain. What, what was going on in, in your team, your comms? What were you guys feeling? I mean, I think a lot of it comes down to just like, I feel really comfortable on, on Breach as a character. And uh, it's something where we've been experimenting with Haven comms since the beginning of the semester. And, you know, I've bounced around on, you know, on agents like Sova. And I've, I've even played controller for the team a little bit, just to, you know, swap roles and see how things fit. <laughs> What's so funny, guys? What's so funny? But then eventually it was just like, I just, I, I feel really good on, on, on Breach, you know? I, I feel like I'm, even when I'm, I'm on A site, you know, I can, I can have impact on the C site, you know, with my cross map stuns, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, I think on defense, we had, we had generally a pretty good read on what they were doing. Um, but I think a lot of the rounds came down to, like, us overcomplicating things and, you know, Trying to, I agree. trying to overcook, you know, when we shouldn't have because, uh, in my opinion, you know, they weren't doing anything crazy. Mm -hmm. They were kind of just spamming the same attack strat over and over, you know? <laughs> um, hands up. But, you know, but, cause, you know cause we were thinking, you know, like eventually, you know, they, 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 they got to switch it up, you know? Yeah. So then we were just trying to think about how we can, how, what to do next, you know, stuff like that. We overcomplicate a lot of the rounds, which is on us, you know, of course. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way we played overall. I like that you said that you guys are overcomplicating it because, hey, look at me. Do I look like a guy that, that <laughs> strategizes in Valorant? No, okay. But watching you guys sit backside for like a minute and a half, I'm like, what are these guys doing? And then when yeah. you guys just start swinging at him and just, uh, uh, it's like win. A, it's a horror movie. Like, I'm sitting A and I'm just jiggling. I'm like, oh, please don't cut my sight. <laughs> it's like 17, 17. I'm like, please don't cut my sight. Please don't cut my sight. <laughs> and then, like, it happens at this time. I'm like, okay, thank, thank goodness. I can retake. Okay. Uh, the, thing I'm about, calmer. the thing about our A defense, and, you know, I also want to give props and kudos to, you know, our, our B and C players. You know, them, you know, being able to, like, you know, knowing that they're alone, but still being able to get that information for us, mm -hmm. you know, that they're not going B, that they're not going C, giving us yeah. the, the confidence I, I mentioned to stand that. You guys heard me say that. Yeah, giving us that confidence to stay in the A site, you know, it just helps us feel like we're fighting together, you know? And, mm -hmm. you know, like, on the other side of the map, you know, they know they get their, they, to get their information. They know how to get out when they're getting hit on, so. And our A fight's usually pretty good, but with Jordan on probably his best agent, in my opinion, Breach, too, just, like, he has so much impact from such a, like, a good spot in the map. It's like it feels more comfortable to fight on A. So. <laughs> look at him looking all professional while you're, while you're just like showering him in praise. Yeah, I, mean, like, I, I, I agree. So you know, I, 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 I don't want to like, boast my own ego or stuff like that. But, you know? <laughs> no, it definitely makes the A fight a lot, a lot easier too. And, uh, and yeah, just him having the stun and all the util and he's good with it. So it makes it easier because, like you said, we've experimented with a lot of different comps. And mm -hmm. the A fight's usually pretty good, but it felt really good today. So. At the end of the day, it was my fault we lost. I tried to gamble call in overtime. Shut up! I tried to gamble call in overtime to be a step All ahead I'm of them. But I mean, hey, he could take the like blame. I'm said, down for that. We were overcooking too much. We should just this guy was board. like, oh, we'll just stack short. And Sushi's like, they never come short. And he's like, yeah, but they will this round. <laughs> <laughs> I like that gambler's mentality. Just like another thing, you know, like overcomplicating stuff, you know, like they didn't, they didn't change up much on their attack and, you know, we were just trying to but they could switch it up, you know? <laughs> and they did a couple of times, to be fair. So you guys, you guys switched it up, started pushing B. You guys are going yeah. A every single round, and you're like, yo, go B this time. Didn't work out necessarily, yeah. but it was interesting. Gentlemen, I want to ask you, like, 
that series, it felt so short. Obviously, we had that super long one. But if you can remember anything, what were some of like the, the moments that stick out from your perspective the most? Like, What were certain interactions, things you saw that, that you think you'll never forget? I can answer. On Sunset, uh, pretty sure we lost the first round. But yeah, you lost every pistol. Yeah, we, lo we lost a lot of pistols, but we always fight together on our thrifties, and we were able to capitalize on those. So we were doing really good team fighting, and then once we win rounds like that, we just keep snowballing. Mm. And like, just for example, on split two, as soon as we win one round, we get we get the momentum. We just take it from there. We don't. It's like the it. vibes. Yeah. That was one thing you introduced to the team too. Not introduced because it's been a thing, but like something we've been really trying to focus on is like snowballing ults and like mm -hmm. getting ult orbs, especially on like when the other team's got bad guns. Mm -hmm. It's like make sure we can try and get the people who are close to their ults the kills and get the orbs and stuff like that. And so that's been really good. I think a moment that stuck out was you on Haven to me when you 2v1. <laughs> I'm not trying to glaze or anything, bro, but when you smoked yourself off and swung, that's kind of, I don't know, that's kind of, that's a round. I kind of popped off for you. That's, that's kind of clean. Old man's got some tricks, you know what I mean? Yeah, you, can, you, you can't teach him new tricks, but he can do those old yeah, ones real good. Old new tricks. And this guy is old. Damn, Jordan, like I said, you had a lot of moments in those games, and especially you and Tyler. I, I mean, obviously, you guys were doing some Mario Luigi stuff. Yeah, he did all right. <laughs> he did okay, <laughs> but, like, anything stick out to you in those games? Anything you remember you think you'll never forget? Valorant moments? Hashtag Valorant moments? Is that a thing? I don't um, know. I mean, there was a lot of moments that game that I felt pretty proud of and I felt like a lot, a lot of impact on. Um, but for me, at least, honestly, like, I don't even think it's a specific moment. Um, I just think that we played really well in Ascent. Or not sunset, sunset. Sorry, <laughs> and it was like a thing where we always noted yeah. where uh, sunset was one of the maps where we'd scrim a lot, and we honestly had a lot of phases where we'd struggle on that map. Um, we would always, you know, end up the scrim day and just debate whether, you know, was was it a comp problem or we playing it wrong, uh, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But then, you know, I think we played sunset really well, and it it finally starts to feel like you know things are coming together and we're understanding how to play more together, you know, how the map is supposed to be played, you know, we're playing off each other more. So I'm just, I'm overall, I'm just really happy with how we played on Sunset, just because it's a map that so we played. you did win. Yeah, so. yeah, we did win. We did win. I'm just, I'm, I'm just happy that it finally feels like it we're getting out. better at An it. An yeah. overall highlight, split. Yeah. I mean, we played, like, I feel like we played flawless. I forgot about that one already. Yeah. Like, we, we, <laughs> like, quick. the thrifty quick. rounds were huge. I mean, we won almost every, like, second eco round to say I think we fought together, and that was one thing, like, when we lost the second map, we were like, guys, we just fight together. Like, yeah. we, like, just trade each other out, play well. There's a couple rounds when I think, well, I whiffed, a few people whiffed. Like, so when that just, we threw that out the window, we head on to split, we just got our aimers on lines, and, you know, I was just flashing for June, I was like, peek this, he gets two, I'm like, <laughs> I, see, boy. I asked boy. you guys, you said like your aim is one of your strong suits. Like, are you guys just able to get those kills and seeing you guys play that out, make it a reality? I, I completely agree. And last question, gentlemen. Everybody Air wants to go suits. home at this point. I, I want to, listen, Valorant details <laughs> puts me to sleep. I want to know personally, like players on your team, what do you feel like that you all bring to the table that makes you all so successful, that allows you guys to like really shine? What what do you all do? Like who who's saying what? Who's not saying what they should be? You know, like, well, tell me about that. We definitely all bring a lot of energy and it's very chaotic sometimes, but it's good energy and like everyone's communicating. Usually I give out the initial idea and then everyone else is around. That's stupid! Yeah, they give out the initial ideas and then they help me out, build the rounds out, you know, tell me what's going on around the map and then I just can make a call off that. But we always try to keep a positive mindset, and no matter what the score is, we always keep fighting until the end. True or false? True, true. or false? True. Very true. That's pretty true. Usually it's Tam says, uh, says something at the very beginning, like, the, you know, pre-round IGL, and then Jello's really good at, like, the mid-rounding, especially because on his breach, he's like, okay, I can stun this, I can do that. So it's really good. Um, I don't know. I bring good vibes, you know? I bring good, I'm a team player. You saw that? Which is I was, important. Did you see that? Every time, I'm just like, guys, you fight, I'm sticking the defuse. You guys fight, I'm planting, you know? I, I'm, 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 I'm a I team saw player. It. I got you. I saw those. That, appreciate that. And then uh, usually... You know, when it gets into like, you know, a lot of fighting's going on, you know, the yeah. dust settles, we have like three, they have three, everyone's still screaming, and so usually, you know, I'm, I'm dead, so I'm like, okay, guys, chill, three, <laughs> three, we know one's here, let's slow it down, and then everyone just kind of like breathes, the comms go quiet, and then those mm -hmm. rounds are usually better. Because there's a couple of rounds where like, you know, the dust settles, but everyone's still screaming about what's happening around them and what they need, so usually I'm, I'm the one being like, Guys, just breathe. Take a chill pill. It's 3v2, 2v2. We're, we're good. We're, just relax. It's just a video game. You know? How about you, Jordan? What do you think you're bringing to the table personality-wise for the team? Um, although I can be very loud, I do think that I'm one of the be. more vocal players on the team. Um, you are. And it's just one of those things where, you know, I've, I've been a player for the Saints for over two years now. Um, I've played under a lot of great IGLs, Tam included, you know. Um, so, I, you know, it's just over the years, you know, like learning. 
learning how the game is supposed to be played, you know, because my first year, you know, I was very, I was very clueless on how to play the game and stuff like that. But we learn. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it just, it just feels good to uh, be able to, like, you know, bring out the best of my teammates, you know, and to hopefully make the game easier for them to play, you know, by making sure that, you know, everybody they peak is stunned or everybody that they peak is blind, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it feels really rewarding, you know, to, like, not only be getting a lot of kills, which I felt like I was that game, but to also, you know, be supporting my teammates even when I'm not directly involved in gunfights, you know. I, I know I said this last question, but I, I want to ask an actual last question directly to you. Let's try to keep this one quicker. I, I know for a while, back when I first started casting for the Saints, Tyler was on the varsity team, you were on the academy team for a while. How does it feel to, like, be able to play with him again on the same team. Like, does that bring anything special for the two of you, or is it just like business as usual? Um, it feels pretty good. I mean, even <laughs> even though we we bicker sometimes, as siblings always do. Um, I think yeah. we have pretty good we have pretty good chem together. You know, I mean, even before competing for for the college, we, we were each other's ranked duo, stuff like that. You know, so it was kind of just like a thing where you know we always worked well together. Um, we've never necessarily played on the same roster at a specific amount of time. Last year, we played in a couple of tourney, tourneys together. You know, we went to our first land together, which was pretty pretty nice. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we never really played for the same roster together up until maybe last year towards like the winter semester. But I think it feels nice, you know, it's good to have a, you know, a familiar face, you know? Really familiar. Really familiar face. <laughs> that guy looks, has your face. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's because they're twins or if they play a lot together, but sometimes neither of them are saying something, but they're making a play together. And I'm like, <laughs> something's going on. Yeah, they got, they're just some brainwaves going on. I think on it's fun. There. I think it's cool to see too, you know, not, not a lot of people get the chance, you know, to compete, you know, with their sibling, you know? Twin brother. Especially at like a really, like a pretty high level. Yeah. So it's something that we, that we do take pride in. And it's something that definitely makes the game more fun, at least for me. I don't know about him. <laughs> Well, I really love that for you guys, and honestly, congratulations. It would have sucked to bring you up here after yeah. a loss. And gentlemen, I want... on a show. I, I, I always say, besides my team, you guys are my favorite. And it, I think one oh, thanks, thing I, I like the most about your team, it doesn't feel like a team. It doesn't matter if it's Varsity or Academy. It feels like a family. <laughs> and this team always feels like a family, no matter what color they're flying under, no matter what league tournament, doesn't matter. It's always there in the end. But gentlemen... We have to wrap it up tonight. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to all of you guys. Once again, fantastic show. I got I to gotta put thank it you, on you. you. So much love. We so much respect. Best. Thank you to our sponsors, Alienware, Tim Hortons, Subway, St. Clair College, Alumni Association, St. Clair College, SRC. <laughs> they got to love you guys. Thank you to Subway. Thank you to Tim Hortons. We love you guys. Thank you to all our sponsors. Once again, thank you to everybody in the back. We had Ari. We had Gabriel. We had Matthias, of course, man in the camera right now. We salute you, brother. And you guys want to thank anybody? Say any shout outs before we wrap up tonight? I just want to thank my mom and my, my papa, you know, for supporting me through this, yeah. through this journey, you know. Gabby yeah, didn't like Shout that. Shout out my mom and dad. They're watching. And my grandma. <laughs> my grandma's watching. <laughs> she has no clue what's going on, but she's there going, go on back. Zoom, so. in, zoom in for his grandma on, on him. There we go. Yeah. I love you, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. Beautiful. Uh, any, any, anyone you wanted to thank? Honestly, shout out to friends and families. We had people here supporting us and watching us during that long game, you know. Yeah. We just play for the fans. Absolutely. That's what we do. For the shout out to Colleen. Shout out to the girlfriends. Shout, shout out to Colleen. <laughs> shout out to the girlfriends, guys. Shout out to our manager, bringing us food, keeping us calm. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Gabby. Out to we Gabby. love Gabby here. She does so much for the team, shout so much for the everybody. production team. I got to us on. So bad. <laughs> Get us on more. And at some point, ladies and gentlemen, the stream is going to have to come to an end. And that time is now. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hope it's not the last time we see you guys. I definitely don't. But I got a test tomorrow. <laughs> see you guys.